Y'all have got to stop raiding while I'm in my starting screen. <laughs> it's getting a little awkward, honestly, but holy shit. Uh, who, <sighs> holy fuck. Uh, Big Burr Bailey, hello. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, no, 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 it's fine. It's okay. It's all right. I really, really appreciate it. For life. Nimitz, thank you for following along with Big Bird Bailey and Butterscotch, you know, a member of the Lawn Boy Club for life. I appreciate having you all here to celebrate now more than 800 followers on Twitch. <laughs> now more than 800 followers on Twitch. But before we get into any of the big festivities this evening, I gotta, I gotta ask you, chat, what is today? And don't answer literally. Don't no. Big cab no already. I salute my fallen enemy. All right, will it actually work? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I'll just I'll just come on up. Hi. Hi everyone, my name's Giraffe Sev. I'm the president of the Long Boy Club, the very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyper fixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight! Gosh dang it, Ark of Joker. I, I, I say this like at least once every couple weeks. I need to make more Big Kev videos because I have it set to like a thing in where every time you redeem it, it plays a different video. But right now I only have like five videos. So, there is a very real chance that it could just play the same video uh, two times in a row, or even three times in a row. Who knows? But yes, yes, yes. I can't confirm it's a new day. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, first off, I just want to give a big thanks to Big Burr Bailey from, for rating on in. I'm actually familiar with them a little bit. I've seen their stuff on um, uh, TikTok. Uh, here and there. Um, I don't think they're on Twitter, but I do know they're on TikTok, and I, I enjoy their art a lot. I enjoy their, I enjoy their art a lot, and their model, or rather their PNG tuber, I suppose, is, is very, very adorable. It's very, very adorable, and yeah. Um, I've been meaning to like, honestly, follow you on Twitch here for, for like a little bit, but I've just been so busy. <laughs> And things fall to the wayside. <laughs> but I followed you. I followed you back. Uh thank you. Thank you very much, Raiders. Um uh, once again, I'm Giraffe Stev. I specialize in mostly Scare wrestling Sarah stuff Tony, and storytelling please. and whatnot through through the through the various games I play and also serotonin. Also, I'm a serotonin machine. I'm a serotonin sponge, you could say. If you have any serotonin, I would like you to to just uh to just apply my forehead to it so I can suck it up. Because that is what that's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me going, chat. The ser the serotonin intake Spare must serotonin, be high. Please. See, like Ruby Ruby and chat gets it. Ruby gets it right now. They fucking know that only serotonin can sustain me. It's like eggs for like Marge Simpson. Spare serotonin, there you go. please. 
You gotta wait for the serotonin to like wear off before you redeem it again. Otherwise, it's gonna go away. Trust me, if I had some to spare, I'd be more than happy to offer it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I got I got new throwables, chat. I got some brand new throws for you. I got some brand new throwables. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna go and uh, get a few more of them for you right here. Give me a second. Where's where's the throw 10? Where's the throw 10? Oh, it's the 50s. I need to like, I need to revise a lot of things about this channel, but it works. It works. It's, it's like Todd Howard. It just works. <laughs> but yeah. Um, if you are into wrestling, if you're into role playing games, Hello, strategy Mario. games, if you like what, <laughs> if you like seeing someone just take a weird, a weird or otherwise um, inconspicuous thing and just make his own like little story out of it, then I am your guy. I'm your guy. Um, you will have a lot to like over here, much like tonight. Um, we are going to be playing more WWE 2K24 tonight. Spare we are continuing. Oh, oh, my God. oh, hey, Bailey found some serotonin in their pocket. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. More. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, like you need to you need to wait until the hand goes away. That is the serotonin dispenser. The guy. You, the guy. Now with slightly more serotonin. Yeah, exactly. You can't have any homunculus. You can't have any. You already get enough serotonin from all the fucking Cheetos that you eat. That's the handsome long boy. Hmm. I'm happy to share. I gotta head out, but this was fun. Yeah, absolutely. Life. The Chubby Berry. Thanks for following. You're a member of the Long Boy Club for life now. Thank you. But yeah. Um, you go, you rest, you go eat, sleep, whatever you gotta do, Bailey. I appreciate it anyways. Uh you <laughs> you have a good night. I will do everything I can to make sure that your community is in good hands over here in the Long Boy Club. Ow. Ow. See, like, every time you throw Cheetos, that just feeds into the homunculus' addiction, right? So, like, know that any single time that you throw a bag of Cheetos, that goes right onto the ground, and... Like, Feed. Feed. <laughs> See? See, he can't even form complete words he eats so many Cheetos. And yet y'all are just gonna keep giving it to him. Don't feed into his addiction. For shame but not as shameful as the injustices being, being wrought upon our guy, Shining Wizard, which I will talk about here as we kind of ease into things a little bit. Good old Skyrim. Let's go to the sharing screen. Wrestling is more than one royal family. That royal family is, of course, the family of Shining Wizard. But no, uh, chat, I gotta say, John Moxley is the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, did I, uh, <clears throat> was I a little too quiet when I said that? Well, <laughs> hmm, uh, let me get my gamer glasses on, and let me just go ahead and mute the music that I just started playing, and I'll spell it out for you one more time for anyone that didn't quite, uh, I didn't quite get it the first time. John fucking Moxley is the IWGP World Heavyweight fucking champion. The fucking man of pro wrestling right here. Cody Rhodes, get on the fucking bench. You will never be, your, your pronoun is he because you will never, ever, ever be him. John Moxley is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, chat. And the fact that he is once again a world champion of any promotion, much less one that is as ingrained into his recent identity as New Japan, it warms my heart. It warms my heart so fucking heavily. I have been in love with John Moxley ever since probably 2017 when he was still still um uh, Dean Ambrose in WWE. Uh I've enjoyed him then. I've enjoyed his character evolution up until that point. I enjoy his 
his story of um uh, recovery and just like his fucking his fucking ability to step up to the plate and be the guy when no one else can. I just really, really appreciate him. I really, really appreciate him, and I'm glad that he's getting a chance to shine again on this on this level, on this level. Any time that John Moxley has a world championship of a major promotion is Hello, a day Mario. where families are fed. <laughs> Cody who? Exactly. Who the fuck is that? Roman Reigns? Seth Rollins? Samoa Joe? Dog shit. All of them are complete, utter egg suckers in high school. They sucked eggs in high school, but John Moxley, he wasn't sucking eggs. He was sucking down those big fat fucking W's. Much like this one right here. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible stuff. <laughs> Doom, Doom Slay, don't, don't take it so seriously. Don't take it so seriously, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Uh, but yeah. I am very happy about this. I'm very happy about this. I realize that New Japan isn't like the same promotion that it used to be back in, you know, the mid 2010s. But, you know, I feel like you would have to be a fool to not admit that New Japan is probably the most prestigious Japanese promotion in wrestling. And the fact that John Moxley is at the top of that mountain, it warms my heart. It warms my heart quite a bit. I am a Moxley stan, you could say. Him and Hangman Adam Page kind of battle for supremacy at the top of my wrestling Mount Rushmore. At the top of my wrestling Mount Rushmore. But on this night, Moxley's at that top. <laughs> Twitch, I've been lurking through Twitch Mobile for the past 20 minutes, and you just post my message now. <laughs> I've been in distress for the last 30 minutes because I've lost my credit card. I'm sorry if I'm a bit not my usual self. Well, go find it, dude. Go find it. I found it. Great. Fantastic. I'm glad. But yeah, uh, that, that's why I'm happy right now, chat. Hopefully you've been having a solid week yourself. Um, this week has been absolute fucking hell <laughs> in terms of work. In terms of work, it has been absolutely hellish. Spare serotonin, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Well I, well, I get serotonin, I'm going to uh, get some fucking matches up here. While we, uh, rather just some gameplay while we do this. Spare Nintendo serotonin, games live. Please. Yeah, chat. Yeah, you know what's up. You know exactly what the fuck is up. Let's go ahead and just put this Super Nintendo one on here. What the heck is this? This is not Super Nintendo. Okay, that's Super Nintendo. I need the serotonin. Well, I'm glad that you're dispensing some to your boy in these trying times. Well, here, how about this? Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get some Cheetos. Well, well, some of them, like, just fell right down to my neck. There you go. Take some. On the house, buddy. That's here, just so you can see him again. There you go, you got three bags. Take them, they're yours. Yeah, chat, um... I will say... Aside from that, and some of the Jack Perry stuff, I've not watched anything of, like, of like Tonight's um, uh, New Japan. I don't... I'm not as big of a New Japan guy as I am an AEW guy. But, uh, you know, I recognize their place in the industry. And, you know, I'm glad that, like, a lot of stars outside of WWE are able to shine there as well. Especially Jack Perry. I'm glad that Jack Perry has started to, like, turn a corner a little bit. Because... For a long time, it... <laughs> Hi, Henry. Because for, like, a long time, it just kind of felt like that he was at a standstill. It just kind of felt like he was at, like, a standstill, and people were, like, starting to, like, turn on him a little bit, especially, like, with the punk stuff. But, I'm glad that he's, like, starting to, like, turn a corner. And that, you know, he's starting to get some upside again. But no, chat. Chat. 
on the subject of work, I won't talk about it too much because, you know, it's not all too interesting, me talking about my job. But things have been hellish this week. <laughs> when you when you work in news and when you have a solar eclipse along with just a lot of stuff in local politics, things become things become really, really, really hectic. Things become incredibly hectic because you got to cover all of it. And when you're dealing with that along with not... Hello, I'll be Mario. honest, not enough people. <laughs> I just watched an ad for Salted Nuts that opened with a dude trying to get a bottle of water. He did not get his water, but ate the nuts. This man is going to be so fucking dehydrated. Well, chat. I gotta say that that's that's uh that's pretty nuts. <laughs> I got three more hours, chat. Will I make it? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, that Nothing one was nutty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, hi Jada. How you doing? How you doing, man? Where's <laughs> where's the nut button? Well listen, and maybe 18 plus. But that's only because I don't want to deal with snot nosed Timmy. Alright? It's not knows Timmy couldn't handle John Moxley becoming IWGP champion. You think that he can handle Shining Wizard in his story? Nah, 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 nah. He couldn't handle something like that. He couldn't handle something as as grim, dark, and as and as evil as that. Shut ow, ow, dang it. Yeah, Jada, how how are you doing? I don't really see you here all that often, so you know. This is uh this is a very uh, rare occurrence. How are you doing, man? Hold on, I'm gonna get my music back on real quick. But yeah, chat. Um part of the reason why we're here tonight is also because we are now over We are now over eight hundred followers on Twitch. Which is absolutely insane to me, for one thing. Chugging apple juice. Chugging apple juice, you know what? Base. J Jada over here is like seven year old maxing. That's respectable. That's respectable. Dude, you don't understand. Do I not understand? Listen, dude. I bought fucking cheese cues and try skits today. Dude! Dude! It's fucking snack time at preschool over there. That's awesome. Girl Scout cookies and drinking apple juice for the past six hours. You are five-year-old maxing, dude! Dude! That's like the stuff that they give to Snot-Nosed Timmy when they want him to be quiet, you know? That's what you give to Snot Nose Timmy. When he wants to just shut up and get th five. Bro has five year old stoner munchies. I, you know what? That is probably what I would eat. If you put like. Okay, so chat. We gotta ask. Now that we have. In the past, I have successfully and flawlessly debunked the idea that the Walmart sugar cookies are worth eating, right? I have definitively proved once and for all that these are dog shit. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sh <laughs> Hold on a second. I need to go and um, uh, bring this over. Boo, give me them sugar cookies. I have definitively proven once and for all that these are like drywall. These are bad. So, to that end, 
What are the best cookies, chat? What are the best cookies that you can buy at Walmart or Meyer or... And if you look at the TikTok, the cookies clearly go in the good cookies bin at the end. Hmm. Well, if I take the... If I take the short... And, uh... Oh, what? This one? Hmm. Let's see. I'm loving the inspirational Skyrim music here. It's great, isn't it? I'm just gonna go to my TikTok here. If you go over to TikTok, right? If you go on over to TikTok and you find the clip somewhere in here, right here. We gotta talk, chat. Are these good? Are these cookies that you buy? from Walmart good because I don't think they are they were always dry as fuck they had true flavor to them true true Ooh, so soft oh yeah definitely it depends like look at this chat y'all are down horrendous for these chat why do I got so much sin here you know what in the bin it goes bin for good cookies well you know what I can just I can download this I can uh whip open DaVinci, I can whip in a couple of, uh, text edits. I can make Hello, it- Mario. And I can make it actually true. Like, look at this! Loft House cookies! They the best cookies ever! Those cookies are the only backbone of this nation! You know what, chat? How about this? If we had an actual third-party candidate, and that candidate was a was a Walmart sugar cookie. Would you vote for it? Would you vote for it to go into office? Ow! God, I haven't had those cookies in a minute. Hmm, Oreos and those Danish butter cookies are good. Danish butter cookies. What? Frankly speaking, I trust one of I trust one of these over any career politician. That's a pretty low bar to be fair. It is a very low bar. Hello, Mario. <laughs> but, to be fair, I would trust the sugar cookies to have better policy than those. Gingerbread Man 2024. <laughs> I mean, listen. Do not sleep on the Gingerbread Man. This guy helped save Shrek, like, at least twice, right? He's pretty base when you think about it. He's got... He's got a lot of upside. He fucking sticks his neck out for the heroes of our nation. He helps... He helps a man that's down on his luck get his fairy tale ending. He fucking knows what's up. Gingerbread Man is present with the Muffin Man as his VP. We got a big order to fill! We got, yeah, baby, we stand Mongo in this house. The moment, the moment that Gingerbread Man gets into the White House, he'll fucking, he'll fucking sign a declaration to bring Mongo to life as his head of security. You pull up the picture of Mongo right this instant, Mr. Mongo Shrek. It's alive! Holy fuck, they have, they have, they have a PNG. <laughs> this right here is the head of foreign policy, I have to say. We gotta have our own kaiju with Mongo. He's the head of security. Take all the military budget, shove it into Mongo. Every single dollar that we spend on him is like a square centimeter of, of size that we add on to him. The foreign adversaries don't stand a chance. I have comfort sweets. I has chalky brownies. Not the special kind, lol. And a can of cream soda. And a can of whoop ass, but it's close enough. But what if foreign enemies try to attack Mongo with milk? He's tough. He can get through it. I mean, what, we're spending like a billion dollars per financial year on our military? Give him milk resistant buttons. You know the icing here? 
Hold a minute. It's super armor, baby. It costs $400 million to make one of Mongo's gumdrop buttons. Not the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> the fucking Mongo Funko Pop is making me actually... Is this real? Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's a concept. It's a concept. This is apparently what someone thinks a Mongo Funko Pop would look like. Would you buy this, chat? I don't think I would. My dude, imagine if Jinji gets in the office and he says, I'm gonna make Mongo, and this is what he means by it. He just makes a fucking Funko Pop. Oh, but also... <laughs> Destroy! <laughs> Destroy. Hey, I'll make my own Mongo. Will it be with, um, a blackjack and gumdrop buttons? I just realized the gumdrop buttons, they're also, like, little meteors, right? Like, in the movie, they're, like, fired off, like, they're meteors, right? Chat, who would win? Godzilla Max Power or Mongo with prep time and an extra gum <laughs> and an extra gumdrop button. It's hard to say, really. If they want to make like the new monster universe work, that's what they gotta do. Like Godzilla, King Kong, Mothra, Gizora, boring, right? It's dog shit. You know what will really put butts in seats? A giant gingerbread man. I'll tell you, that would get me in a theater. That would get me in a theater. And then, like, five years later, you would have, like, a team-up movie. Who would win? Mongo or the Cloverfield monster? Who would win? Mongo or Hydrogen Bomb or Coughing Baby? It's a triple threat match. <laughs> okay. Uh, unfortunately, chat, or I guess fortunately, because after this, we're going to start our festivities. Uh, I got to run an ad to appease Father Bezos. And that means, of course, let's see. It's break time. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dudes? Raw rolls on after this. How the fuck do we get this again for the first we wish time? We could show you all the cool secrets of all the cool secrets. Tracks, giving your character a body of ice, the head of a panda, or a snowboard shaped like a penguin. We're not joking either. These nifty bonuses can only be. I can't wait for him to say that Nintendo deserves a big fat kiss. Level. In other words, forget about it. 1080 has two basic principles: racing and performing tricks. Two modes offer racing. Another two offer tricks, and yet another provides two-player action. Obviously, the tricks are harder to master, but Nintendo deserves a big, big fat, fat kiss, kiss for basing all the stunts around the B button. Not having dozens upon dozens of random combination moves like so many other games. Even Mongo the teams move, up with the 1080 Air. <laughs> it's too dangerous to fight the system. giant spaghetti kaiju. The game is still hard though, like Diddy Kong Racing. The control is very accurate. I feel like we're just making food fight too. Side to side as you go, as well as look at the direction of the snowboard, not your character, to get. We're gonna get Charlie back. Sheen back into the booth. The game's best feature is the graphics. Each level has the look and feel of being one. Guys, would you say nature. the best? The lighting is. Oh, would you say so the game's gorgeous. best features is the graphics? You'll need a bib to catch the drool from admiring the landscape. You'll need a bib to catch the drool from admiring all of the food kaiju's on screen. Is the best game on the Nintendo 64 so far this year, and while that's not saying much for the system, it is saying a lot for the game. Its only faults are length, only six racing courses, and the lack of chasmic jumps. Chasmic may not be a real word, but it should be. Yeah, we can rest our champions, definitely. Imaginative jumps that keep you airborne for 10, ten seconds. seconds. Is it realistic? Heck no. But realism is getting boring in video games. Oh, um, nom, nom. Uh, oh we excuse forget, me, we're back, my dudes. Hey, welcome back to Raw. kind of cool. Each snowboarder is hanging out in the ski lodge. Makes sense, huh? Even in the few moments you'll spend there, 
you'll notice how each one has a distinctive personality, not just in what he's doing, but in his voice as well. Sadly, I must go to bed. I gotta make sure I have no the energy for an event tomorrow. Y'all have a great Canadian stream, brother. Would have been a real wait, a lot wait, there was an ad break? Yeah. The incorporation of Tommy Hilfinger clothes. By the way, if I mispronounce the name, welcome back to Raw. Up to my <laughs> and pure apathy. Welcome back to Raw. At first, we thought 1080 was a quick, albeit excellent, thrill ride, which, due to its mere six courses, I didn't was get ads. What the fuck, bucks. Twitch Mobile? Although not every part of each mode takes place on an actual course, all modes. Well, I guess consider your yourself lucky. While motor racing games are stuffed with extra modes of play, they don't have the relevance that 1080s modes possess. Did anyone get One ads, or did you all just get a free Gitsy? Until you realize you have to perform several tricks in a row, and... I don't care either landing. way, but I'm just if asking. If you don't, your score goes to zero. 1080 will keep you busy for a while, so even... You guys do the bare minimum of snowboarding, otherwise you lose your score, Once chat. Again, you've snuck another surprise hit into the world of gaming. I got an ad. What was the ad for, Dan? What was the ad for? I don't think it was that. I think that... I still think that... Uh, I still think that just in terms of top-to-bottom quality and excitement, I think that... WrestleMania 19 is probably the best one. It also helps that I don't have Wingstop being shoved into my face. You know? Which, you know, that being during the six woman tag adds a bit of uh, an added layer of grossness that I didn't think was possible. But, you know. It was a fun. It was a fun. It was a fun weekend. Uh, I would say it's maybe just as good as. S39. Oh, wow. It's your first WrestleMania? How long have you been a fan? Because I've been a... Because I've been here for a minute. <laughs> I've been a... I've been here for a long time. As a content creator, what do you believe is the most rewarding part of the occupation that helps you feel fulfilled? <sighs> I mean, we could get into, like, the philosophical part of it, right? But genuinely, I, I would just say that, like, you know, over time, I've kind of, I've kind of, uh, come to realize more of what I value, right? Like, you know, I've said it, I said it a bunch of times, for like a long time, I wanted to be able to say, you know, I have people that recognize, you know, what I'm doing and are able to be here for like multiple hours on end or even just enjoy my stuff uh completely separate from like any connection to me and now that i have that it's just kind of like well not much really changes <laughs> cuz you know i always appreciate all the support but you know once you have eyes on you even if it's just a few nothing really changes right the only thing that really changes is that, you know, you got more eyes on you. <laughs> you know, you're still the same person. It's just now more people are paying attention to you. Now, I would say that my most, I would say the most fulfilling thing to me about content creation is, is giving myself the freedom to simply just kind of experiment, you know, and find out what works for me. So like, for example, I think that what works for me, right, is my ability to take things that are, uh, rather to sort of take one thing and create my own little like story or kind of gimmick out of them. Right. So for example, I mean, what we're doing right now, like my rise, right? The story that it's telling, you know, that's cool. But I enjoy, I enjoy applying my own logic and understanding to things. So for me, for me, the story is not, um, for me, the my rise story, it's not about beating Roman's record. 
It's about the character of Shining Wizard trying to find some form of self-validation. And he doesn't know how to get that. He's, he's trying to have the best matches on the card. It's not giving him that. Right now, he's a double champion. That may get him that, but it, it probably won't. We'll have to see where it goes. But, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. Or even last year, right? Like, we had fucking Java Crypt, and we created this whole fucking... <laughs> And me and Sax create like this whole fucking narrative and where and where she's like trying to like make enough money in order to leave both of her other like day jobs <laughs> and and to also um uh, provide for her for her um uh, lesbian GF. So like stuff like that, whether it's something goofy like that or if it's something that's on kind of the more serious storytelling aspect, like what we're doing with Shining Wizard. I just enjoy applying my own like understanding to it, right? And I also just enjoy like creating like my own little worlds and characters. It's like playing with action figures, you know, and that's not really something that I did when I was a kid. I was a very, uh, I was a very techno guy, I guess you could say, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of my most fulfilling part of it. Just like being able to say that I have a certain style or that I have like certain things that I do over others, right? Because like, you know, like this, this isn't like, this isn't like something that like encompasses everybody, right? But personally, I think that being able to narrow yourself down and being able to focus on getting the most out of a certain type of content rather than just going for a shotgun blast of, oh, I'll do this today. I think that's more fulfilling, right? I think it's more fulfilling to like try and get the most out of what I love rather than just do a shotgun blast of everything, if that makes any sense. I'm not always the best at articulating this. I apologize if I'm not making any sense, but. The point is to say that I think what I like the best about you is being able to actually have fun with, with what you're streaming. Monetary gain isn't top priority to you. It's all about the experience, experimentation, the people you entertain along the way. I will admit, it is, I'm not seeing any, I mean, like, I am starting to see a bit of money from streaming. Not like a whole bunch of money, but, you know, a little bit of money. And while that's fine, you know, I've tasted I've brushed up against against greatness a couple times now. And while that's cool, it doesn't really change much, right? Like you're still the same person. So now I'm finding fulfillment and just, you know, uh, doing my thing and trying to get the most out of what I do. So yeah, that's, that's my answer. Uh, that's my answer. It would be cool to make this into a larger thing, but now that I've had a ch <laughs> now that I had a taste of what that larger thing could be, it's not really all that exciting, you know. What is exciting, however, is you know, <laughs> once again, experimenting and just like trying out a whole bunch of different things and you know, doing my thing and shit like that. That's what's the most fulfilling to me, and even and yeah, and. If people enjoy that, cool. I'm very, very happy that I'm able to, you know, like entertain people like with my, with, with my silly way of doing things. Right. But I'm also at the point where I'm just like, if, if that stopped, then, you know, that's fine. I'd honestly be fine with stopping. Right. I'd honestly be fine with <laughs> with uh stopping at that point not because i'm like bitter or anything but because i would be able to stop doing this and say you know what it was a good run right Stampede! speaking of good yeah. runs with the run in zarkon with the long boys girls and bees and ags <laughs> thank you very much for coming on by everybody for those of you who are unaware my name is giraffe i'm the president 
other long boy club, the very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyper fixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight, we are going to be playing WWE 2K24. I would be playing more of it right now, but I've been kind of on a tangent for a bit now. Uh, about just kind of, you know, what I value out of content creation and stuff like that. The long boy is a real dude. I appreciate, I appreciate you. No, no, we are not the long boy gang. We're the long boy club. The long boy gang is our mortal fucking enemy. Their Hello, leader Mario. is LA Knight. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Zarkon. How you doing? Hopefully you had a good stream, man. Uh, uh, what were you playing? Uh, did you have fun with it? If you got a raid and run, totally fine. It's okay. I appreciate you being here anyways. Ow! Long boy club too long. Also, grats on 800 followers. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, before we get going, I do need to play an ad. One more time. You mean L.A. Night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell. Yeah. All right. It's ad. fake time. Where the heck's the Raw rolls on after dudes? this, and then we'll get started. I promise. Nothing it's, beats it's a cool so quiet. sip of water. Thank you, I need water after that. It's no big surprise that IDOS is Let's up go! the game food chain considering last year's mega hit Tomb Raider. The sequel Ah yes, the it's the one, the one in which Laura gets breast cancer. <laughs> changes for sidestepping and of All right, back chat. This is 100 times. I need to go get more water. China. A dragon attacks the Great Wall and a soldier notices a dagger embedded in his chest. Oddly, removing the dagger results in the dragon's death. Weird. You play Laura Croft complete with front-loaded anvils, searching for the dagger centuries later. Your path to the dagger will take you just about everywhere, and that snow speeder kicks a major you-know-what. Tomb Raider has slightly more action than exploration this time around, but you may not notice the difference. This is good, because that way everybody's happy. Obviously, we're giving Tomb Raider 2 a good review. We fully expected to do so. We knew the game would be great, and it is, and we've only just scratched the surface. In answer to Lara's giant earrings, however, we have a challenge to IDOS. In Tomb Raider 3, create a storyline in which Lara gets breast cancer. Imagine the drama of a vulnerable Lara. Imagine the drama, chat! ...her worldly adventures despite her illness. It needs fleshing out, no pun intended. It needs fleshing out, chat. Be shocked, needs it. ...and moved at the effort to make Lara's character more meaningful. We love Lara, but it's about time the industry had a big shock for a change. It's no shock that Tomb Raider 2 is excellent. Everyone should buy I it. genuinely do not know if George Wood is okay, chat. I don't know if he's okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know that he's physically okay. Like, he's still alive and shit. But I don't know. I don't know if him or Tom Allen are okay. That remains to be seen. Om nom nom. Oh, excuse me. We're back, my dudes. Hey, welcome back to Raw. Or... NXT. Whatever happened to um, uh, George Wood? You know, I don't know. I know that every so often he'll appear. Oh, hey. Okay, chat. Uh, so, so this right here is going to be awesome, okay? What the fuck is with this hair? This is, uh, this is some weird Mad Max stuff. What is, uh, what is up with her hair? I don't know. So before I go to bed, I just pointed out TikTok has a Discord? Wait, wait, tick like the site TikTok has a Discord? That's crazy. I didn't think I didn't think it That whole thing needs to be like active 24/7. Like a thousand messages per minute at least. Oh shit, it's Grayson Waller. One half of the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions chat. It talks about an official Discord. Hold on, let me post a screenshot. Okay. But yeah, chat. Hello, Mario. <laughs> oh, good. I'm here in time for Grayson Waller. I'm leaving. I wait, wait, hold on. Soul, Soul, Soul. Do not leave just yet because it's about to get much better. It's about to get much better. You'll see. Because greatness is about to be shown upon you. It's about to be shown. Observe. It's the warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. 
Let's go! Your NXT and undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Shining Wizard. Shiny Wizard's been keeping himself busy, chat. Last week, he won the NXT Championship after leaving SmackDown for NXT. He holds that and the Undisputed Championship. He's got a big target on his back with uh, with um, uh, The Miz trying to sue the WWE title off of him. And Roman Reigns basically telling him he's on borrowed time. All the while, Shining Wizard doesn't feel like a champion. He doesn't feel like a champion at all. It, in fact, he's only getting more hurt. Even with world-class training and NXT, it's still a tall task ahead of him to hold both, to hold two of wrestling's top prizes in his grasp. For he had no gold left to gain. He doesn't feel like a world champion, th th though, chat. He tried to have the best matches on SmackDown. Didn't work. He's now a double champion. Maybe it will work. We'll see. Only time will tell. Because he only just won the NXT championship at NXT Battleground. And now he has to defend it two nights later against the man that he won it off of. This guy right here. Grayson Waller. As he tried not just throwing them on the mat. <laughs> Listen, they're heavy. Why does she sound like Sonic? <laughs> that guy right there is the NXT champion, Tails. I fucking love Shining Wizard. I got his poster and everything sent up on my ceiling. Bro did a flip and still want smoke. That's what I like about him the most, Tails. He's got no fear, like me. Uh, by the way, can I have that um, a Grayson Waller poster? I'm a bit of a collector. <laughs> Aaron Corbin was always good, just screwed by booking. I, I think that he has some. I think he has some upside. Yeah. Rack up more falls of any kind to win the Iron Man match. Yeah, we're starting out with an Iron Man match tonight, chat. Deep six. Now, chat. Here's the question. What's the vibe? What's the vibe of music? Anyone else for real thinks Sonic is canonically a sociopath? <laughs> he's like definitely like he's definitely like you know not as social as maybe some people want to think, right? But like I don't think he's like a terrible person. Corbin is Corbin as a Ziggler type in WWE would have worked if they did their stuff right. Speaking of Ziggler, he was on uh, tonight's New Japan, Scare wasn't he? Serotonin, if DMCA wasn't a thing. I'd say go for the game. Say go for the game by Motorhead. LOL. Well, listen, we need fight music. All right, I got some fight music right here. What do we want to listen to for fifteen minutes, Chad? Do we want to listen to World Circuit? We can do that. We can do Here Comes the Pain. That's one of the tracks. That's another uh, Here Comes the Pain loop. So when you close your eyes and half close your eyes, you look so freaking handsome. Oh. But if you close your eyes, ayo, 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 ayo. I can't help but imagine Dolph Ziggler yelling somewhere it should have been me. Holy shit, dude. Well, you know, that's what some people online were thinking. Rhea Ripley is the, is the queen of the goons. 
Or better yet, go to OVW and conquer the state that is that is there. I was I was built and where I will build. Hold on. Hmm. Hold on. Real. <laughs> real. <laughs> so real. Oh, here comes the pain that gets my vote. Let's do. Here comes the pain, chat. Here we go. Win more falls over Grayson Waller of any kind. Come on, dude. He literally just won a title two weeks ago. Two, two days ago, he won a title. And already he's like going for the legs. All right. He's, he's already working over the leg. Limb work on NXT tonight, chat. The way I was screaming those words when I saw mom, when I saw mommy stink facing. Well, well, speaking of mommy and the Judgment Day chat, I showed my roommate the promo that um uh, that um uh, our truth made of like him and the Judgment Day and like the one where he like photoshops himself into like big moments of the Judgment Day. One where he's like, we've been through a lot together. Money in the bank, the women's Royal Rumble, Judgment Day in your house. The Judgment Day is an unbreakable bond. I hope they drop Priest's new theme soon so I can listen to it. <clears throat> they gave a lot of people new, new theme music in WWE, didn't they? Live, laugh, and love. Judgment Day never says those things. Ever. Ooh, okay, finally. Finally, we can get something going. Priest sings it, and that's cool. Uh, does Priest have a good singing voice? I'm surprised the bloodline is still alive after what happened at WrestleMania. It, it's like entering a new chapter. It seems like with like Solo at the forefront, which I think is definitely something that he needs, especially after the. Well, let's kind of admit it. Pretty shitty, uh, pretty shitty uh, few months that he's had. What the heck? They're letting Solo talk. I'm hyped. I'm so hyped too. It's actually, <laughs> we, we might actually be cooking here. At long last, they got the stove back on. All right. So chat, I don't think that this is where we do the, uh, I don't think this is where we do the big Falcon arrow, right? I don't think like this is where we do the Falcon arrow. We got to save that for like someone that like really, really, really deserves the spot. Hashtag we want Jim Johnston. Doesn't he have like a Patreon now, or am I thinking of Kevin McLeod? Proud Jim Johnston cry baby. <laughs> Jim Johnston versus coughing baby. Would you say that Jim Johnson is the one that knows what the dog is doing, chat? Bruh, <laughs> bruh, Jim Johnson was on Fiverr, though. I would, I would immediately be, like, on the ringer, right? I would be getting him on the horn for, like, no! You gotta keep it interesting. <laughs> Jim Johnson out pizzas the hut. Jim Johnson has to finish the lyrics. Jim Johnson is champ. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, imagine a Shining Wizard theme song written by Jim Johnson. I need that Jim Johnson and fucking Daniel, I'm um, a. Uh, I'm um, a. Uh, I'm um, a. Uh, I'm um, a. Uh, Ingram <laughs> collab. Jim Johnson and Daniel Ingram collab needs to happen. Should 
should, should have gotten yourself a DQ for the only fall if the game lets you do that. I'm pretty sure it does. I actually kind of want to do something here. Although it seems like anytime I try to do something, it ends up backfiring, so maybe I shouldn't try to do something. Brother really thought that he was doing something. Jim Johnson in a C C418 collab. Jim Johnson in a coughing baby collab. Fine. Yeah, exactly. You know what? I got you right where I want you. He's hard. He's a. Sh <laughs> the fucking American dream music. I love that. There you go. Fine. You know what? Fine, you know what? Come and get me, Grayson. Holy fuck, what was that? Uh, I just found this out. Apparently, Jimmy Uso is out of the bloodline. Yeah, uh, yeah, that happened on SmackDown tonight. They got rid of the weakest link. If I'm being 100% honest with you. I would have to say that the past year has really kind of exposed them. Yeah, Happy Link is gone. I haven't seen any of the SmackDown highlights. So, so Mr. No Yeet got yeeted. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he got yeeted. He got yeeted out of the bloodline tonight. <laughs> Look at this. Look at shitty Grayson Waller here. Going to get a count out win over here. Come on. I'm a real equestrian. I'm a real fighting to help out all my friends. Waiting for what? I am a real equestrian fighting to help out all my friends. I am a real equestrian fight for what's right. Friendship's my might. I like that. <laughs> That's actually awesome. <laughs> That's the, uh, That's his theme song. That's his new theme song. Ow! Holy shit! Holy fuck! The save! The save! That is your WWE Universal Champion! Oh! The heel hook! This is awesome! One, two, three! Holy fuck! <laughs> he 
He got he he got a little too much fire there. The sheer will to go on. He is that damn magic wizard. He is the magic man. One, two, three. Holy fuck, we're racking up falls immediately. We're burying him, dude. Wait, what the hell? Oh, wait, 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 he has like three different versions of that. What? Damn. Okay, it's less dangerous than Tony D'Angelo. The phenomenal one AJ style. We would listen. When I first, when I first showed wrestling to like, to like my friend Phoenix and the others, I showed them Styles versus Cena at, I think it was Royal Rumble 2018. And there was dead ass someone in the crowd that had a sign that said, that said the phenomenal AJ Styles. And it showed, it showed Applejack in the fucking, in the fucking AJ Styles drip. And I never even noticed that back then. I never even noticed that. That was insane to me. I did not pick that match to show them based on that fact, but lo and behold, there it was. Just another instance of my special interest crossing over. <laughs> my special interests keep crossing over and I don't mean for that to, ow! Ah, no way. Ow. Shitty overdrive. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What the hell was that? <laughs> Come on. Ow. Holy shit. This is awesome. This is all. No! You'll never have the championship. You will never be welcome in NXT. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Too old, Shining Wizard. I'm gonna turn on, like, the little visual effects. This is my promotion. You're never gonna be welcome here. Oh my god, this shit. Wow. Look at this. Look at the disrespect on display from Grayson Waller. Come on! Come on! I think. Okay. Serotonin, please. Holy shit. Look at this score chat. Look at this. Look at the disrespect on Grayson Waller here. Oh, soup. No, no. I wanted the super kick. 
I wanted the super kick chat. Come on. Come on. So wait. No, it's over. No, come on. I gotta do the whole thing over again. No fucking shot. <laughs> Every single time I try to be cool, it doesn't work. Every single time. Every time I try to be cool, it doesn't work, chat. I need to just stop being cool and I need to do the fucking thing. You would think it would go into sudden death. You know? I want to like do a thing and where beat his ass. I I will. I will. I will actually beat that ass this time. But no, chat. I want I want to like do a cool thing, right? I want to like do a thing in where in where um, uh, Grayson was gonna hit like his finisher. And he would like go for the cover and then the time limit would expire, right? right so that way Shining Wizard beats him by a hair. Clearly, canonically, the match gets restarted. Exactly. Listen, the coolness will happen organically. It will. <laughs> Look at these absolute slobber knockers here. Yeah! Hit him! Ref, count it! What are you doing? Shining Wizard versus the Equestrian Nightmare. Colty Rhodes? Colty Rhodes is actually cool as fuck. Chat, chat, what are some of like... My name is Paul Haymare, and I am the advocate of the reigning defending bulk... No, no, no. Bulk fucking biceps? I, you know what? I can fuck with that. I, I, I love Colty Rhodes. Colty Rhodes is actually sick as fuck. Not the sleeper. He's got him in a sleeper chat. The hole's locked in. Big Bison Reed. I love it. Wait, cover. Hell. The champ left his shoulder up before one there. He gets out of the way. Oh, neck breaker! Let's go! He's going for the pen. This could be it! The spent pin only three minutes in. No, Come on! Rico Sheep is incredible. Hmm. I think of a few more, but like I'm fucking focused on the match. What would be like the. What would be the uh, pony version of like fucking. Uh, hoofs. Hoofs Stompa Ali? My dude, why would you take off the belt buckle if you're not going to. 
Like you're not gonna use it. Rico's sheep is incredible, though. What would be the pony version of uh, John Cena? Don't say John Sheepa. Although that would probably be really cool too. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. The Just a Chekhov's gun stab. Rick, Rick is sheep. Someone said, someone said John Centaur, I believe. Like, I feel like we're going into the realm of fantasy a little bit, but that, I think that works, right? Actually, no, a centaur is like a human and a horse, right? And he slides him back to the back. I don't really think Equestria's got that. Johnny, um, <laughs> John, John Lamina. I'm not against that. He steps foot in the ring again. Come on, Grayson. Counter by Grayson. No, I'll let you get the first fall. Why not? Grayson. Since you're so dog shit at everything. Watch this. Kick out your finisher at two. No, the finisher kicks out at two. Close I can think is Fawn Cena, and that's not the right species. I mean... Okay, how about this? How about CM Punk? What would be CM Punk's pony version? For some reason, I feel like a lot of people will say CM Colt. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's the play. It took two stunners to put him down for to put him down for a three count. It took two it took two stunners to put him down for a three count and two clothing blows to the back of the head. Sheep molt punk. Sheep molt punk. Doesn't matter what CM Punk is because he'll make he'll he'll make sh because he'll make us fire Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana! I mean, I mean, like, listen, I'm a Colt Cabana's like a built in pony name, right? Come on! One, two, three! There you go! Nice! Put you down! Wait, wait, can I make it all the way over there? No, oh, come on, he can't. Wait, he can't go coast to coast? Oh, chat, that has to be one of his finishers. We gotta make one of his finishers to coast to coast. That'd be so good. That'd be so good. There you go. Jim Corn feed. I like that. And that's gonna jizz Grayson's offense. How about Randy Orton? Sent into the corner. The first name's gotta be Ranchy, right? Whoa! Cleaned his clock with a clothesline. That's incredible. Unlike best wrestler in the in the world, Shane McPonyhan. Rowdy Orchards. <laughs> Ranchy Orchard. Ranchy Orchards, I think, is the play. Right, chat? I have a feeling that's the play. Right? No. I'm gonna i I'm gonna set you up for the best move on the planet. The best shining wizard ever! Stampede! Jelly yes with the Long Boys, Girls, and Bees and Aegis. Hello, welcome into tonight's Long Boy Club meeting. For those of you who don't know, my name's Sharaf and I'm the president of the Long Boy Club, the very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations. Yeah, whoa! And tonight, we are playing WWE 2K24. And 
I am defending the NXT Championship against Grayson Waller in a 15-minute Iron Man match. Both of these warriors are spent. Shining Wizard takes on takes on Grayson Waller to retain his NXT Championship. Come on. Come on, Grayson. Hello, Mario. <laughs> Grayson Waller, more like Grayson Jobber. I mean, the big blue fruit. I mean, the big blue um uh um uh, fruit by the foot that's around his waist right now says otherwise. <laughs> Rhino gets to be a pony wrestler. You know what? Yeah. I don't see why he couldn't be a pony wrestler, right? I mean, Rhino's a built-in pony name, right? Like, that came free with his fucking Xbox, you know? <laughs> that shit came free with his fucking Xbox. Holy fuck! Wait, wait, that was an unprettier? That was not an unprettier. <sighs> no! Nice. Rhino is 100% an Earth Pony. You know what? I can fuck with that. <sighs> okay, we got four minutes to close the gap. It's fine. I refuse to... <laughs> Rhino is an Earth Pony, and I refuse to write more lore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's like, uh... He's like a Big Mac type, right? For some reason... Oh, shit! Oh, hello, Mario. He's giving serotonin. Ah, uh, Ruby. Hello. You know what? For some reason, the bulk biceps type fits Rhino for me more than Brock Lesnar, oddly enough. He just has that vibe Hello, to Mario. him, right? He just has, like, the vibe. I don't really know how to under... I don't know how best to explain it. But he just has... He just has that... He has the aura, you could say. Let's go. And look at this. We're about to close this gap even further, chat. Good night, Grayson Waller. It would be a true miracle for anyone to come back from this deficit. The pace in your offense has to pick up if you want to catch up. Oh shit. Pinky Pod as no no I'm a Pinky Pie as Merkind I like that I like Merkind rope break is the ref just not gonna call the rope break <laughs> the ref's not gonna call the rope break I guess see the wolf with the long boys girls NVs and AGs you. You came into an incredible match here between Shining Wizard and Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller getting the match of his life from Shining Wizard here. Fuck you. We got shitty overdrive. Let's do it. Wait, no, no, no. I want it. I want to do my shitty overdrive. Hello, Mario. <laughs> Match for the ages. Kick him in the nuts. I'm trying to. Wizard fight back. Look at this. You know what? Shining Wizard doesn't fucking care if you don't respect them. He doesn't fucking give a shit if you don't respect him. 
He's... He is finished playing... What the fuck? He's finished playing nice. One. Get over here. Turn around and look at me. Shining Wizard using magic and playing nice. Come on. Nice. I hope things have been good. They have. They they have been good, Z Wolf. They've been fantastic, honestly. Look at this. I mean, Shining Wizard retained his title. He's got blood underneath his mask. You can see that, dude. What a visual. Shining Wizard doesn't need magic to ruin Grayson Waller's day. He's he's just that damn good. Hunter Hoopsley. Hunter Hoops, Hunter Horse Hoopsley. Hunter Horse Hoopsley chat. The CEO, the CEO, or the CCO, the Chief Content Officer of NXT. Hunter Horse Hoopsley. Instead, fill me in on the background of Haku and Tamatonga. I'm unfamiliar with both of them. You're asking the wrong dude, dude. Google. <laughs> I am uh, not knowledgeable on them enough to to adequately inform you. Nothing oh, beats it. Cool, refreshing sip of water. Instead of celebrating an amazing Iron Man match, I regret to break the news that due to legal action, the match result is nullified. Shining Wizard must relinquish the NXT Championship and return to SmackDown immediately. No decisions have been made yet on how we will handle the vacant NXT Championship. What the fuck? I assume the NXT title will return to its rightful owner, aka me. Don't lose your smile again, Shawn Michaels. I warned you repeatedly and you didn't listen. But at least my champion came in and beat your top guy and left your promotion in chaos. Almost like I planned it that way from the start. You did not. You, you very much did not. Alright, I gotta go and talk with Troy Simp. We love filler feuds. What the fuck? This is an outrage. What I just read on social media? There's nothing to explain. It's all cut and dry if you had read any of the legal documents we served you the past few weeks. I'm gonna get this overturned. Too late for that. Besides, there's no need to be upset. You did such a great job here as a representative of Miz and SmackDown. Dude, this sets Shiny Wizard back so far. In case you forgot, I came here to get away from you and Miz. Tama is the song of the man called Ming. Maybe that was your intention, but in the end, your the old minger rebellion actually worked in our favor. Our viewer retention and social media engagement has been off the charts. Typical so lawyer screwing people over. Exactly. Not allowed to be a legit champ, I guess. He's already not a legit champ in his own mind, and now the Miz has to come in here and piss on him some more. Pentagon, hexagon, octagon, smile gone. <laughs> That's Shining Wizard right now. I take odds on Kurt Angle in a legit fight over Hack. Haku would... Dude. Dude, I would not want to be caught like in a back alley with Meng. That does not sound fun. True? Was it your plan all along to come down here and damage the NXT brand? You really were better off when you weren't paying attention to all the nonsense on social media. Especially when it's coming from the likes of The Miz. Well, true or not, it is what ended up happening. You showed up, 
made some of our top superstars look bad, and then got management tied up in a legal mess. So, thanks? Henson belt, his hexagon, octagon, his belt gone. <laughs> I like that. The only one tougher than Haku was Bad News Bran. What, what about what about I'm a Bruiser Brody? Miz is hell bent on ruining my career. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think this one is on Miz. Next time your obsession with Roman Reigns tells you to come to NXT, don't. Man. Shining Wizard got screwed, chat. He came down here since you've been gone. <laughs> As reported first by Shawn Michaels, Shining Wizard will relinquish the NXT Championship and return to SmackDown this week. The Dark Horse's run with the NXT title was one for the history books. What was that, like 14 days? Now just last... A <laughs> And now just last another couple of years with the WWE Universal title, and you'll start to sniff the only record that matters in WWE. They're vicious, they're vicious guys more than tough guys in that they don't hold back, uh, but I'd still say people with real fight skills like Ken Shamrock, Kurt Angle, or Lesnar are in a real fight over them still. Hashtag proud shining wizard cry baby. Justice for another screw. <laughs> we need to get the shining wizard simps trending. Chat. Get the shining wizard simps trending. Or, or the shining wizard stands. Whichever one you want more. I personally want shining wizard simps more if I'm being 100% Franklin with you. It's almost time for a 120 seconds minute Cheetos break, my dudes. Uh, no, it ain't. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta do the promo. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, we gotta go, dude. Dude, come on. Wait, Slade? How's Henry doing? Dude, our fucking morale has taken a nosedive. Bezos screwed Shining Wizard. That's a lot of upgrade point. Hi, Henry. It, it, it is a lot of upgrade points. Well, like, it looks like a lot, but this is actually what my stats are now. So I think that in the time that he was over there, he got a little bit better, right? That wasn't a very long training arc, unfortunately. It wasn't a very long training arc. But, but, we did get a little bit better. We got a bit more resilient, I would say, crucially. And that's about it. <laughs> uh,. We're going to go ahead and run an ad here real quick, chat, just so we can get it off our backs. It's break time. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dudes? Raw rolls on after this. But yeah, that looks like a lot of upgrade points, but it really isn't much in the big scheme of things. Note to self, don't... Ah, uh, Gex! Garcia's. Gex. Enter the Gecko is Gex's second Gex game. That will get you Gexited. Okay, enough Gexes, except for this one. Gex has personality, personality plus. plus. His wise cracks and random comments are amusing. Is Gitsy now? Is, is Gitsy now automated over the breaks? Style. It is. Yes. To put it simply, Gitsy's now really automated nice over the breaks. It is for people who did not get a commercial. Sucky control of movement and tough challenge. Is AKA subscribers and people well, uh, who I yeah, guess were well, lucky maybe. enough to not get one. This is a tricky one. <laughs> the superficial qualities are, well, super. I don't the know about a pony name, but a punk was a cartoon expected. animal. The I call him CM Skunk. The character is cool, but this game is just I feel like that's TV probably that wishes it could You know be what? 64. It's a good game. If Vince McMahon wants to make like a kid show, like he probably wants to make because he makes he made glorified kids content basically. Even with CM Skunk would absolutely be on his mind. Problem with game view. 
Jungle Pony Jack. Difficulty gets no, no, it's and design gets a B. What? what the fuck? Says goofball off the wall sound bites. Memo to Gilligan. Try building a raft. We got this. This is a pretty. Uh, this is a pretty weird. Fucking. Uh, you know what? I know I made it when I get accounts like Mr. Toe Sniffer following me on Twitch. Hello, Mario. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to this week's episode of Touched by an Uncle. And that's it. That's all you need to hear, chat. Shut up. Shut up, Gex. Be quiet. Hello, hello, Mr. Toe Sniffer. How are you doing? Om nom nom. Oh, excuse me. We're back, my dudes. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back to Raw. Y you fucking caught me off guard. You caught me off guard. Oh my God! Someone wants to smell the long boy's toes. That's that's forbidden. That's uh, that's bad news. That's bad news, Brown, right there. <laughs> that's that is and that's bad news, Brown, right there. I don't know about that one, dog. He doesn't have toes. He has hooves. Exactly. Now, chat. Do we want to do more side quests? I think we want to do more side quests. He's a two-toed ungulate, though. Also very true. A king will be crowned on SmackDown. The King of the Ring tournament returns next week. But who will Mike the Miz choose to compete? Chat. Tama Tonga has transitioned from New Japan to Enic to to WWE. He transitioned. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. <sighs> One of my wrestlers is a is a black metal themed wrestler from from Norway. Unfortunately, neither unfortunately neither the 2K games nor Fight Forever have Norway as a billion location. Well, well, you know, I'm not. Listen, man. Listen, man. I don't know if you want to be from Norway. I've heard about. I've heard about black metal. That shit's uh, that shit's a little funky. A king will be crowned on SmackDown. The King of the Ring tournament returns next week. But who will Mike the Miz choose to compete? I'm. I'm honestly thinking, chat, that now that he's been re that now that he's been robbed of the NXT championship, now he gets even more desperate for accolades, right? Like this right here is where he starts to get desperate. I tried making a wrestler in one two K in one two K who in one two game game who is um, a basically a mob boss luchador. I call him Don Wacker. Hashtag Occupy Stand NXT. Me. What the fuck? Bruiser Bunny with the Long Boys, Girls, NBs, and AGs. Thank Hello, you very Mario. much for coming on over, everyone. My name's Giraffe and Steph. I'm the president of the Long Boy Club, the very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat tonight. We are playing Hello, WWE 2K24. Thank you for following Slash the Wolf. You are now a member of the Lawn Boy Club for life. I appreciate it, my friend. Man, hi, Hanway. More wrestling Hello, fans. There are more people to indoctrinate into the into the wrestling bloodline. Starting with this. We gotta relinquish our title. That happened with my NXT run, I think Miz owes me a face-to-face -face conversation. That's nice that you think that. But Miz is extremely busy and cannot be bothered. <laughs> for the four what? what? What the fuck? Salty Wolf and and Redline, you're now a member of the Lawn Boy Club for life. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? I I didn't Hello, even Mario. have time. I don't even have time to talk about the goal for this year, which is I want to get to a thousand followers by the year's end. And I think that with the progress that we've made this year, it's absolutely it's absolutely possible. It's absolutely possible. Bruiser. 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 First off, thank you for fucking rating on in. Hopefully you had a great stream. What'd you play? And did you have fun with it? If you got a raid and run, that's absolutely okay. I I appreciate the raid either way, my friend. 
Fallout 3. Ooh, nice. Nice. We gore. The hell is progress. We gore that. <laughs> I think we're going to need more chairs for the long boy club. We will. At some point, we're going to need more chairs. Y'all have to throw those like steel chairs at me. How do you feel about YouTube channels like WrestleMania? I've, from what I've seen, it rubs me the wrong way. They seem, they seem like they're very, they seem like that they lean more towards one way over the other. And also there's just a whole bunch of wrestling channels like them, right? I don't really enjoy that. I don't really, I don't know. The channels that are like, the channels that are like, this is our top 10 X, right? Like, there's so many of those, right? Like, I get a lot of rage bait wrestling channels in my feed these days. A lot of them, too. I kind of, I kind of get that, too. Is it too um, a clickbait for your taste? Not even necessarily that. It's just boring, right? Like, list channels in wrestling don't do anything for me, right? Because a lot of them are... <laughs> A lot of them are kind of like a conglomeration of a few different people, right? You don't really have like a chance to sort of like understand the tastes of people. Um, <laughs> and that's why I enjoy channels like, <clears throat> sorry, like I'm a wrestling bios because wrestling bios is one guy, right? That is his channel and anything that he makes like, <laughs> like that's coming from him, right? Even if it's, like, a concept that's kind of recycled from, like, other channels, I know it's coming from his perspective, right? And nobody else's. It's the same sort of thing, like, with wrestling with, um, uh, Regret, right? Like, um, uh, Brian Zane. I don't really watch him all that much anymore. But, much like Wrestling Bios, that is just Brian Zane, right? And when you... <laughs> and, and when you watch a video from wrestling with um uh, regret you know exactly who's who's um uh, perspective it's coming from whereas with channels like cultaholic and even to an extent parts fun known i just think that they're way too general right i don't want to i don't want to have a bunch like of wrestling kind of like popular opinions regurgitated back at me i want to be able to you know actually get to know the people behind the channel, right? And I feel like that you will, and I feel like that you only get that best when the channel focuses on specific guy. Exactly. Soul is spitting facts. The best fucking wrestling channel right now is Maven Huffman. Maven has the wrestling YouTube game down pat. No one is making content like he is right now. I'm also getting tired of wrestling news. It's drama and viewer numbers, the two worst things. That's all it is these days. It's all just so much bullshit. I hate it. I like WrestleMania behind the Titantron videos. Those videos were very informative and build those subjects as stories while reiterating while I'm uh, reiterating they actually happen. I personally like the wrestling quiz channels like like um like I'm a I'm a Statch Club wrestling. I've not heard of those. <laughs> Zane needs to bring back the wrestling kitchen, or rather the kayfabe kitchen. I've been thinking about doing cooking streams and buying one of those wrestling cookbooks and just, like, cooking with, like, my luchador mask on and shit like that. I think that would be really charming. I think that would be really fun. I actually like to cook, honestly. I don't like the mess, but I enjoy being able to cook tasty stuff, you know? I don't like getting takeout all the time. I actually kind of enjoy the process of cooking. Anyways, we got to go and talk to the Miz. So what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Last time I checked, you're a sports entertainer. So I don't know. Go sports entertain. Besides, with your little hiatus, there's a backlog of matches and title defenses you owe us. So go fulfill your contractual obligations for once, and then we'll talk. Dude. Wait, so like we actually just need to like do side quests now. I didn't realize that like they actually just have you do the side quests now, right? So 
Fuck you, Troy Simpkin. You know what I gotta say to him? Ah, well, if it isn't the simps. You can't tell Shining Wizard what to do. You know, he can't. But the Miz can. And unfortunately, we are back here. We're back here. And now we gotta find some other means to find success. I heard Triple H has has dropped the whole sports entertainment shtick from uh, WWE. I heard he's trying to phase it out. Troy is jealous that his daddy wouldn't let him be a wrestler. <laughs> he is, though. He's he's ashamed of Shining Wizard's success. He held two belts for two weeks, and suddenly he thinks that... And suddenly he thinks he can boss him around. Not even Mizzy Wizzy can talk down to the GOAT. Well, Shining Wizard has got to earn his spot again. Obviously, he's not going to figure out whether or not being a double champion is going to be what gives him fulfillment. So, he's got to find success in other avenues. Shining Wizard is a horse, not a goat. He's the goaded horse. It was so weird to hear the word wrestling on WWE programming. It is, yeah. It's actually weird to hear it like that. He doesn't have to earn his spots again, just his spot. <laughs> oh yeah, he already has his spots on his uh, trunks and mask. That's right. But yeah, uh, now he's got to earn his spot. Well, actually, no. The thing that's going on now is that now that he's been relinquished of both titles, Shining Wizard feels, feels not only unvalidated, he feels empty, right? Because he felt what it was like to hold all that gold, right? He was maybe starting to get to that point to where he can feel like a champion, especially after decisively beating Grayson Waller and rubbing his face in it a little bit with some chair shots. But that's been taken away from him. And now he feels empty. He's hungry. He needs success. He needs, he needs to feel like he's climbing the top of the mountain. And what better way to do that than with the King of the Ring tournament? What better way to do that than with the King of the Ring tournament? It's about time. Everyone knows I'm wrestling royalty. <laughs> Thank you. You're more like a court jester, Chadley. If I'm in the tournament, oh boy. If I'm in the tournament, the only crown that you're going to wear will be made of gauze. Oh boy, I'm going to kick the shit out of you, Drew. This is why SmackDown is the most must-see show on television. Look at these superstars begging for a shot at being crowned. Undisputed WWE Universal King has a nice ring to it. I was hoping you had the nerve to answer the call, Shiny Wizard. I would be delighted for you to comp <laughs> I would be delighted for you to compete in the King of the Ring. All you have to do is ask. I know he really doesn't deserve our attention, but I can't help but wonder how Vince feels after WrestleMania 40 and the general direction of WWE moving on without him. Drew Gulak, the man charisma and taste, forgot. I know he does You know what? I hope Vince is molding and seething. I hope he's like crying into his bags of billions because the only thing that he deserves at this point is a jail cell. Vince who? Exactly. Who? 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 I'm in. Tell whoever is making the crown to get in touch to have it properly sized. Because especially with someone as small as Shining Wizard, it's gotta be the one that gets him in the fit. What? Shining Wizard. What? Best Shining Wizard ever. What? I'll make sure the team is alerted of your prospects in the tournament. Can't wait to watch every one of your matches. King of the Ringer. Oh boy. So wait, why is it still giving me this even though we've been stripped of the title? Tonight on SmackDown, the King of the Ring tournament begins when, when um, uh, Drew Gulak faces the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Shining Wizard. We face Drew Gulak first? This is going to be cake. Bold move entering the King of the Ring champ. As much as I'd love to spend some time pulling out my fingernails in a conversation with you, I gotta go get ready for Drew Gulak. Gulak? Chat, 
Is it Gulak or Gulak? Or is it uh, Gulak? Gulak? <laughs> or Gulunk? Gulak. Gulak! I hate Troy Simpkins' voice. It makes my teeth hurt, LMAO. This right here is every, like, internet mark. Any sign that you see someone being a tribalist on Twitter? <laughs> ah, Gulagoon? Oh, definitely wouldn't want to cramp a champ with a bunch of small talk. Just thought you'd want to know that the Miz has made this tournament even more mussy. The Miz didn't do that. Shining Wizard did. You're lucky that he's taking time to be in the King of the Ring tournament. Please tell me you get to punch him eventually. I hope so, dude. And what does that mean exactly? It means that Miz has made your matches in the tournament a little more interesting. What do we got? Tie one hand behind my back? Iron Man? Dominic on a pole match? <laughs> No, no, we gotta get Dominic's taser on a pole. The one we used to tase came. Huh? Before your time. Just lay it on me, Troy. In every one of your tournament matches, the WWE Universal title will be on the line. Seriously? Does this seem like the kind of thing a WWE producer would joke about? Just think about it. This has never been done before. It truly is must see. Man. Go ahead and tell your boss that my knees got to. No shake. pony imagined Dominic on a pole, LMAO. Devastating curve. Drew, Drew Goomba. <laughs> He's about as appealing as a Goomba. Hi. Wait, what? Not the reaction you were expecting. All this does is make it that much sweeter when I beat Drew Gulak and anyone else you put in my path. Now that will be must see. Brother. Why is he calling him Gulak? Drew Gulash. As in, I had a very nice Gulash today with my friend Drew. I actually did, though. It was good. <laughs> I actually did, though. I'm a big fan. Quarterfinals match. Can we just beat up Simpkin instead? I want him to be in the finals, dude. Drew Goulashes. Drew Gooning. Drew <laughs> that's that's every single one. You know what? That's exactly what Rhea Ripley does. She fuck it. She fucking drew a bunch of men gooning over her. You know what, chat? I'm not even going to give Drew Goulash the time of day. Drew Goulash. <laughs> it's good. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Join or die? What the fuck? Why is he like a revolutionist? Why is he like, don't tread on me here? This is weird, isn't it? That's like weird, right? It's not just me. Drew Gooba Dooba. I I enjoyed I enjoyed Drew Gulagoon the most. Uh Drew Gulagoon. It's a superstar. I enjoy. I enjoy. <laughs> Gulak, the only guy whose two WWE tenures were separated by a week. Is that true? When was he released? <clears throat> well, nonetheless, chat. It doesn't matter what The Miz does, because, because even though he doesn't have the NXT title anymore, he is still your undisputed WWE Universal Champion. I enjoy Drew Goober the most. Gulak was released in Dece April 2020, but re-signed about a week later. Oh, was he part of like the, was he part like of the cuts early into the pandemic? 
Time for Shine Wizard to open up a big old can of whoop ass on Drew going to get his shit wrecked. <laughs> Byron, I need you to not do that because that's not the prop up that you think it is. Don't call, do not call him an ass. He's the workhorse. He is the dark horse. He is the shining star from El Dorado, the flying, the flying magician himself. Shining wizard. He hopes that through his time in the King of the Ring tournament, he will. He will not only still be the undisputed champion, but that will also become King of the Ring by the time it's all said and done. Horseman's gonna kill you. Horseman's gonna kill you. I actually am just gonna kill Drew Gulag over here, chat. Maybe just after. I don't know if my statement was accurate, but I know he wasn't gone long after his release, as he returned shortly after. <laughs> Drew, go, go, gadget, pull string. <laughs> That's awful. I'm That's awful. I have half a mind to fucking time you out for that. <laughs> That's awful. That's what it's all about. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. My hand is up here, Drew. All right, chat, what's the music? I think that this is the vibe. I'll admit, I kind of, I kind of don't want to go on the upholstering stuff all too long, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to stay on that for super long. It's really weird and awkward. If Gulak wins, we riot. Whatever the reason, the dark horse will have to become king of the ring if he wants to remain WWE Universal Champion. Is it enough? And there's the kick out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. You'll be my glass Joe, Drew. It doesn't matter his knowledge because he won't be ready for the fucking dark horse. Drew Goo Goo Kachu. I'm the walrus. And he tosses him back in now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm the fucking... I'm the fucking shining wizard. I'll let you get just a bit of offense in, Drew. Just a tiny bit. Drew Carbonor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh. A super kick! Oh my god! Nobody can believe it! A super king, nobody can believe it. There you go. The best shining wizard ever. One. Done and dusted. Now that's what you call an impact. I don't know, man. I think I think that's a general reference. Rather like I just think that's a general turn of phrase. Drew, go home, you're drunk. It's Drew Gulak. There are no odds there, dude. There are no odds for Shining Wizard. You just witnessed a murder. That is the thunder that Shining Wizard brings. Smack. Everyone on the SmackDown roster, consider yourself put on notice. Everyone else in this tournament should consider themselves put on notice.
You're on Shining Wizard's time. No one else is. Drew Gulpin. <laughs> Drew Gulpin. Impressive tournament win slash title defense. You must be very proud of yourself. Exactly. I am. Business just picked up. I respond with insult. You make snarky remark. I reply with a reference you don't understand. You are totally confused, but play along. And then finally get to the point. That about cover how this usually goes? I mean, I guess. In wrestling, we call that a cutoff. Say your thing. Your opponent for next week's King of the Ring second round, he'll be unable to compete. Fortunately, Drew McIntyre is available. It's a battle of the Drews, dude. So I'm only fighting guys named Drew? What? Oh, that's not the point. The point is that McIntyre is only available tonight. So in our main event, I'll compete for the second time against fresh Drew number two. The title will be on the line, and Miz has champagne on ice for if I lose. Y yes. It's going to be a dry celebration, Troy. Anything else you want me to tell you you're going to say? No. Good. At some point, you'll realize you backed the wrong horse in Miz. So wait, do we need to go back out there? Is that the s is this the same night? Mountain Drew? <laughs> Mountain Drew's good, though. <laughs> Shining Wizard will compete again on SmackDown against a fully rested Drew McIntyre for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The spot in the King of the Ring Finals. Did they make Troy do all of his lines after Helium? Doesn't sound like a naturally high voice. Diet Drew. Drew McSalty, he ain't champion. Drew McDonald had a fight. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Drew is what every internet nerd sounds like. The following contest is a King of the Ring semi-final match. All right, here we go. The this one here is going to be hopefully quick. Because unlike Drew Gulak, Drew McIntyre is not is not to be messed with. It's all heels too, chat. From chosen one to number one, a man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. Drew who? Shining Wizard fears nobody. Chosen by who, Byron? Drew Moo Moo Meadows. <laughs> Are you all just like galloping in there? It's the dark horse. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we gotta <laughs> we actually gotta get to the match here before another ad plays, unfortunately. Drew, drew more money. All right, Major Circuit. This is gonna be a Damian. This is gonna be like the Damian Priest cash in. It'll be a Damian Priest catch, <laughs> uh, cash in if I can fucking. Uh... Holy shit! Drew is still so strong. Does this story actually have potential ways to change it? it? I don't know. I don't know. I would have to... I feel like it would require multiple playthroughs to figure it out. But I'm hoping that it goes one way, right? Sign Galloway now. Come on. Come on, Drew. Nice. Woo. Right, we got to end this quick. Mm. 
de gras! Hoof! Hoof de gras! Hoof de gras! One! Two! Jesus! Laid out! Laid out by Drew McIntyre. Drew Mac is better than BC. Well, now you're just lying. I want to try to win this with a roll up, chat. Jesus Christ. No! Not even a one count. The absolute heart of Shining Wizard. Are you kidding me? No! 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 Dude! It's actually hard. I'm not even trying to, like, give him any offense here. It's actually, like, hard right now. No, oh, do not do a fucking Claymore. No! That's it, dude. It's over. Yeah, it's over. It's fucking over. This is actually going to be hard here. Hello, Mario. Hi, Mr. Cool. How you doing? Drew McClaymore. Congrats on 800. I'll tell you what, with a performance like this, I don't know if I... I don't know if I've earned it. Because right now, Drew McIntyre's kicking my ass. And I'm going in here hurt, I'm going into the match hurt, and Drew is much, much stronger than me. Defender, how many of these are you fucking doing, dude? How many of these do you have on standby? How many of these do you have on standby? Because I feel like you're running out of ideas. Hey, that's former World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, my mistake. Woo! Nice! Drew mooned me through his kilt. Brother, give it up. It's cooked now. <laughs> Nice! It's cooked now. Like, Drew mooned me through his kill. Like, that's not even, like, a play on Mick anymore. You're just finding things that start with M. Like, look at this. I can do it, too. Watch. Drew Moon Dancer. There you go. I did a Drew joke. Drew, Mike, and Melissa. I just did another one. Drew, Mike, and Molly. There's a third one. Drew, my ass hurts. There's your fucking fourth one. But no, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the congrats very much so, Mr. Cool. I appreciate it. Oh 
Come on! Fast and Furious! Fast and Furious! What the fuck? You... You're doing this now? Hello, Mario. No, I can't see! I can't see! <laughs> four, 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 I couldn't one. see that chat! I couldn't see! <laughs> that fucked me up. Drew Barrymore. Again. Again, that's not even Drew McIntyre. You're just saying shit now. You're just saying shit now. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh. Also, also Denny and and Luke, thank you for following. You're now members of the Longboy Club for Life. Is the <laughs> is the ref drunk? Why is he so sluggish? He's been he's been making fascinating calls all night, honestly. <sighs> Hello, Mario. Here we go. A super kick. Nobody can believe it. Hi, Keeves. How you doing? Wow! Okay. I'll tell you, Drew McIntyre gave him a run for his money. But Shiny Wizard's on a mission. He's on a mission to find validation for himself. Drew McSuckit. <laughs> the rest been knocking back ever clear. He's been listening to Santa Monica all night and he's getting lost in the lyricism. Hello, Mario. My <laughs> God, he's got to be dad in the family. God. It's almost time for a 120 a seconds God. minute Cheetos break, my <laughs> God dudes. God damn it. Holy fuck. How'd you find us, Luke? And better yet, how'd you find us, Denny? I gotta play an ad. Hold on a second. It's break time. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dude? Almost on through this. Drew McIntyre, as I like to call him, Drew Yap Entire. Don't encourage the chat anymore. They're running, <laughs> they're running out of steam on like, on like plays on words for like Drew McIntyre, and I let them go for the whole match. The 64 game released by Nintendo in 1997 is Mario Kart 64. It combines the thrill of a racing game with... Oh, Mayo literally did the old in XD suck in motion. You just couldn't see it. Oh, Mayo. <laughs> ...each racer. The game gives players a true feeling of racing a go-kart, as the kart skids sideways into turns and maneuvers quickly around obstacles. Mario Kart 64 features a depth in graphics only available with Nintendo 64. Since racing games by their very... I would have thought that, like, Drew McIntyre would have kicked out of the super kick. Not gonna lie, chat. The graphics fast enough. Causing environments to literally the ad died. Did it? Wait, wait, it died. Fashion. What do you mean it died? The speed at which Nintendo 64 produces the graphics is an unbelievable 93.75 megahertz compared to that. What does that mean to the normal person, though? This is a game. What did I miss? Haha. -ha. Okay, so like for the whole time we were like doing word plays on like on like Drew Gulak. It, it peaked with it peaked with um a uh, Drew um a uh, Gulagoon. It peaked with fucking Drew Gulagoon, and then it just and then they kept going. They kept cooking, but no one was like asking for ingredients, right? Mario Kart and then they transitioned to over to fucking losing, um, uh, Drew McIntyre, and then they cooked Only there a little bit, and then up. they just kept cooking while it was burned, right? The stove was on, it was on way too high. I think I won with um, uh, Drew McSuckit. Well, of course you would say that. I think I made the best one, so therefore I win. Om nom nom. Oh, excuse me, we're back, my dudes. Welcome back to Raw. Drew McDuck. Like, literally... Like, look at some of these. Like, look at some of these. Here, I'm gonna go and find it. Drew McClaymore. Drew My Rise Undisputed. Drew My Kilt is Too Tight. Drew Mooned Me Through His Kilt. That's not even a play on words of McIntyre. 
You're just finding shit that starts with M. <laughs> Yo, gaming in the Clinton years, bro. I don't think there are anyone else that known of this show. Oh, you found you found the other person that does, I guess. <laughs> Thing is, mine was right as Shiny Wizard won, so it was fitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most, it's the historically accurate version of the joke, I guess. It's the historically accurate version of the joke. So you have that to your name. Gaming in the Clinton years is goaded. I have like, I have like, 21 different <laughs> different episodes of um uh, Gitsy that you can get in random rotation. Champ, you're going to face Otis in the finals tonight. Nice, Troy. Succinct, to the point, minimum attitude. One of these days, you'll be a real boy. Wow. Maybe. You know what? You know what, maybe if you stopped, um, uh, drinking that Ms. Kool-Aid, you'd get some bitches on your dick. That's one of those references, isn't it? Ah, life is full of mystery. Otis, huh? No shocking twist? <laughs> you think Ms. and I are so predictable? Well, yeah. Fine. Otis will be your opponent in the King of the Ring finals. Along with Chad Gable in a two-on-one handicap match. And that... Disputed WWE Universal title on the line. Got it. After I win, does Miz crown me himself or does he send his stooge? Wow, okay. Who's Miz's stooge? Oh, you mean me. Chad State. We're not wait, doing this again. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. Chad. Or your new king. No, no. Um, Chad Stable would be his pony name, right? That one I'll accept. Chad Stable is his pony name. <laughs> Chad Red Label. No! No, you encourage them! You encourage them to do it again! Can we Hello, let Mario. Chad and Otis win, actually? No! It's him. It's Shining Freaking Wizard. He's about to have three matches on one episode of SmackDown. Continues his campaign to wrest the undisputed WWE Universal Championship away from Shining Wizard in the finals of the King of the Ring tournament. We defense against Otis and Chad Gable in a two-on-one handicap match. Shoosh. Shoosh. Thank you, Chad Mabel. The Calf Academy. The Calf. The Calf Academy. The Calf Academy is great. Just woke up. Shoosh. The Alpha Academy. Oh wait, is this like a pay-per-view? Dude, you do that every night on Raw. What are you doing? Alfalfa Academy. Uh, thank you. Look at these two fucking stallions here. Look at this. The equivalent of Snorlax, big boy. So if they win, which of them would be, which of them would be champion? If they win, then the Miz comes out like with giant saw cutters, and he just like cuts the undisputed title in half. Nothing. Otis beats gets one half. Sip of water. Chad Gable gets a smaller half because you know he's he's uh, he's shorty G, as we all know. So is this going to be like tornado tag or is this going to be like tag ends? Oh, I mean, Otis, I think he's a previous money in the bank winner after all. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a uh, he's finally cashing in that check. Eh? I can't believe they brought back the King of the Ring pay-per-view just for Shining Wizard. I kind of miss when Otis was part of heavy machinery. What is Tucker doing these days? What's he up to? Who's your tag partner? No one. 
Uh, you know what? You know what? My tag partner is, uh, is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship and probably the tape on my shoulder. That's my tag partner. It, and you know what? It's the best tag partner. Because, because if my shoulder is ever, is ever, uh, is ever in jeopardy of, like, falling off like, uh, like a drumstick, I know the tape will be there to catch it. So, so, so if the title pins you, would it win itself? Is this like WCW then? Like if Sting pins Kevin Nash, then he wins the WCW title, even though they're on the same team. Ooh, no goatee. Ooh, a new goatee. I like it. Yeah. And new bulkiness. My dude is buff as shit now. Hardcore title rules. Like the title. <laughs> like the time a broom won it. <laughs> the strap bulk of doom. Come on, chat. We talked about it backstage. Ayo, he's ripped. He is. Shiny Wizard's tag partner is vacant. A true legend. The best title holder in all of wrestling. There's literally a championship over in Japan that was held by a ladder, a garbage can, and itself. Is that like... Is that like the, um, the, um, uh, DDT, like, um, uh, like, um, uh, <sighs> sorry, like, isn't that like the title over in, 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 um, uh, DDT? Or maybe it's Jesus himself. I'm waiting for that spotlight, brother. I'm waiting for it. Like I said, you can't see Shining Wizard's tag partner. Ah, well, ah, well, you know what? It's fucking John Cena, then. It's John Cena, then. Hold on just a second, chat. I gotta, I gotta go and get the proper stuff. I gotta go and get the proper stuff. Give me a second. I need to find this video. It's gotta be in here. It's gotta be in here. It's, it's gotta be in here, chat. It's gotta be in here. I will find it. It's gotta be in here, please. It's gotta be Kane. It's the video of KSI being like, I'm the one that can see John Cena, right? But it's like sped up and shit. Yes, please, give me it, give me it, give me that shit. I need it. Please. It's got it. Like I said before, you know, I'm the one. Yes, it's right here. I found it. I found it. I found it, chat. I can see John Cena. <laughs> like I said before, you know, I'm the one. I can see John Cena. Yeah, you know, I'm the one that knows Victoria's Secret. I'm the one that knows what the dog is doing. You know, I'm that guy. I'm him. I'm him. When I go into a gym, treadmills do push-ups. That's how it is, bro. I'm that guy. That's what everyone thinks of Shining Wizard. But does he think of that himself? <laughs> does he think of that himself, chat? We'll see. Now, we gotta get that good music in there. A two on one handicap match for his title in the King of the Ring Turn of the Crown. Will it be a coronation? At the very least, he has had a chance to rest in between the matches. Is it Kane? It's gotta be Kane. Shiny Wizard's tag partner is someone who hears voices in his head. Ah, yes, the demons inside his head. Of course. Nice. I'm not even gonna let. 
I'm not even going to let Otis get into the ring at all. Oh, nice. Nice kick. Going to have to go out there and get. Uh... All right, Defender, you, uh, <laughs> you have a good night, all right? You have a good night. I appreciate you for sticking around for as long as you have. This has been very, very fun. No fucking shot! That was the quickest match ever! <laughs> Easy payday. Give him the crown. King Wizard. King Wizard, baby. Here's how you win a battle royal. Get a forklift and lift the side of the ring and dump everyone. Absolutely crazy. King Wizard and the Undisputed Champion. But. But. Let's stick. Let's see. Hold on a second. I want to I want to make sure it sticks before we uh, before we do anything. Otis. Otis is like crying. Yeah, baby. We are the king of the fucking ring. Let's go. Let's go. Shining Wizard is the king of the universe after defeating at after defeating Chad Gable and Otis to become king of the ring. Will Mike the Miz finally give up on his furious pursuit of the WWE Undisputed Universal Champion? No, no. <laughs> All right. Give him like the nerd emoji chat. King Wizard and his Shadow Wizard money gang. <laughs> give give Miss like the nerd emoji and then you won't be able to tell the difference. He's so salty. No one has ever mined more salt than that man has. You know? My man has more salt than the entirety of Wendy's. Is an absolute factory over there. Well, chat, I feel like now that we're not in NXT anymore, our training is over, right? We are at 85, and that is as good as it's going to get, right? That's a lot of salt more than... That's a lot of salt more than Wendy's. <laughs> that is more salt than Wendy's, probably. And I should know, because I worked at Wendy's. It's not fun, chat. <laughs> I wouldn't work at Wendy's if I could. And I don't. I do use it. Yeah. Miss can't sleep unless he hears his own voice saying, Awesome, followed by his theme song. It's like the music that like lulls him to sleep. So chat, I feel like we should do some more one-off matches now, right? Or, like some more one-off things. Let's see, uh, let's see what's on offer. Let's see what's on offer here. I just got a new 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens, so obviously I'm pretty fired up. I can't wait to try. Oh my out. god, we got that tech Maybe door. You can help. Noam Dar says since he's still basically on Scotland time, he can come in one morning so I can shoot a match if I can find him an opponent. I know it'd be early, but feel like getting in a morning workout? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? We got to get some more of those training reps in. Let's see, uh, Noam Dar. More like Noam Dork. Alicia, folks. I love Noam Dar. His entrance is so good. Are we going to see that here? Or is it going to be like in Performance Center? <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. 
wins King of the Ring into Noandar. Makes sense. Well, like, listen, 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 listen. This doesn't have anything on the line. This doesn't have anything on the line. So I'm thinking that... I'm thinking that we do only the best... The best music. We gotta do this for Alicia, folks. I'm surprised Noam Dar is still in WWE. I am too, to an extent, actually. I'm thinking that we gotta do this to the best music of all time, chat. Epic. No, I didn't. I did. <laughs> we got the Wii U music chat. Wait. Oh, wait, I'm I'm rising early and because of that, I'm like tired in the ring, I guess. That's no problem. Shiny Wizard eats people like fucking Noam Dar for lunch. Nice. <laughs> Chad, would you say that this really helps to to set the tone, or do you think it's uh, or do you think it's just not really what we need at this point in time? This is like the area in where they filmed, um, uh, Sin Cara's, um, uh, Titantron video. I think it's perfect. It's, it's great, yeah. It's just him, Gulak, Mendoza, uh, Giovanni Vinci, Alexander, Gargano, Ciampa, and Tozawa left from the 2016's Cruiserweight Classic. It's still quite a lot of people, though. That's still a lot of people. That's like half of like the tournament, right? Or am I like mistaken? What? Hey, you! Oh! You're on Shining Wizard's time! Get stunned, Jabroni. There were 32 guys in there. Ah, sorry. Too intense. Way too wild. Heart pumping too hard. Well, well, thankfully for you, it's over. Thankfully for you, it's... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry I played it again. I know that that was a little bit... Uh, it was a little bit too intense. Shining Wizard barely broke a sweat on Noam. At the break of yawn. What the fuck? Okay. What? DMs? You didn't have to do all that to him. It was just for the lenses. But seriously, your work in the ring combined with the glorious sunrise made for, made for some unforgettable shots. Thanks. This lens is a keeper. Brother, we were literally inside. <laughs> we were literally inside, but cool. You're welcome, I guess. I think after that, we maybe got a bit of striking. <laughs> We got a little bit of um, uh, um, uh, striking improvements. I remember loving TJ Perkins in that tournament. Also, also Daniel Bryan on commentary was good. Oh yeah, um, uh, Bryan Danielson was on commentary for that, right? But no, um, Ashley, I actually have a genuine answer to that question. Uh, friend of ours, our good old friend Melody, is in the process of creating some exclusive. Never before seen title plates for Shining Wizards Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. For him to come out to and look like a real fucking title holder. 
I'm hoping that those will be done by next week, but I'm not I'm not gonna push it like I'm not gonna push it too far because it's not like it's not crucial that we have it, but it would be cool. Take you on in a match with no running. That also could be because he's lazy. Anyway, I feel like running circles around him, metaphorically. Anyway. The fuck? Huh? Walk, don't run to face Bronson Reed. Huh? What? What now? Hmm? I don't really understand what you're going for. Wait, uh, okay, well, fuck it. I guess we're facing Bronson Reed now. <laughs> we're facing Bronson Reed now, chat, and then we're gonna take a break, okay? Did they call Bronson Reed lazy? I think they just did, chat. I think, uh, I think that they just did a little bit. Not the no running match. That might actually be a little detrimental. Bronson Reed. The following contest. We're saying Bronson Reed can't run, apparently. I'm still tore up about about Dorado getting shafted by booking. Lince Dorado may not have been the greatest in the company, but I still like Lince Dorado. My dude, Lince was always going to be mid-card at best. You know? At that point... Oh my god, that's uh... That's some fucking uh... That's some fucking face animations. Good thing you don't run in the ring anymore. He's literally in the Twitter show. He wins matches in sub three minutes. We can't run, SMA. We can't run, shake my head. <laughs> he has the speed championship, right, chat? Or does someone have the speed championship that I don't know about? Oh my god, I actually can't run, chat. I'm excited. This kind of stipulation can lead to more deliberate and calculated moves in the ring. Oh yes, deliberate and calculated. The two words that get every fan's heart racing. Big elbow. Y'all fucking will just... Y'all will like talk about like... <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Off the top. Corey fucking Graves could never face... <laughs> he could never set through a Brian Danielson match. It's a tournament going into the semis. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, Seb. I have the... I still have 2K up in the background. Bray Wyatt's team is now playing. I'm going to put on some Fireflies now. Go do it, man. Go do it. Oh, that got turned around on Reed. Oof. Uh, did you see Reed at the Rumble this year? He was uh, he was on a mission. I'll be honest with you, brother. I kind of forgot about the Rumble this year a little bit besides the final two. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it, unfortunately. But you know what? If if he cleaned house, then that's pretty cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm happy for him. I'm glad that he. Uh, I'm glad he had that uh, moment in the sun. I think you should play tag with him outside the ring. <laughs> oh my God! You're right. Hold on. You know what? Take a look at the talent that makes up the A show. Trips wants to push Reed so bad. <laughs> this is awesome. Just going for a nice walk. No big deal. Wait, wait, he's catching up. He's catching up, chat. He's he's catching up. <laughs> Are we still on the air? He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up, and this match will head back to the ring. All right, we got uh, yes, sir, we got our steps in. <laughs> Ow! I just, I love. I love how he was like, are we still on the air? Again, my brother would not survive Ring of Honor. 
He would not survive it. Come on, Bronson. Would you want to see a Bronson Reed push? I'm surprised Reed even returned to WWE, given he was uh, screwed over by Vince. I think, I think that you know, um, um, uh, the idea is that. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta do the Sonic Rain Boom chat. Shining Wizard with the Sonic Rain Boom one. No, really? Fine, you know what? You know what? Heel hook. Oh wait, no, it's a knee bar. Okay, fine. Come oh, on, Bronson. I'll play the game. I'll play your game. You want a game of strikes so bad? Fine. What the fuck? They were setting him up for big stuff. There was a 2K22 or 23 pack that was going to was going to be um uh, built around around him uh, right before he was released. And 2K had to scramble. That's fucked up, dude. I have to imagine that working on these games is a nightmare year on year. Because especially like, especially like when Vince was in there, people, people were just getting released at random times. I have it's to imagine time that like for planning out content seconds minute cheetos break my dudes is a Herculean effort. But still, I would have thought. The thought of WWE would have, uh, I'm sorry, would have left a bad taste in his mouth. I mean, I mean, he was North American champion, so, so I don't think that, uh, I don't think that his issues were probably with with um, uh, WWE. I would more so probably think they were with Vince, right? As they probably were with many people on the roster. Oh. Nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Sick. Sick kicks. Wait, wait, DDT. Count it, ref. Do it. One, two. What? Okay. Probably still better than working on Fight Forever. There's no way it was Yuke's fault over over AEW games, I'll be real. I don't know. Hello, Mario. I don't know. <laughs> MC Bone, how long have you been rocking this OC? For for a few weeks now, my friend. For a few weeks, actually. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome to tonight's Long Boy Club meeting. It's been a while since I've seen you. Wait, wait. Can I wait, wait, can I make him tap before the break? Let's go! Let's go! We made him tap before the break! Let's go! <laughs> Did Henry take my bag of bones? Where are my Cheetos at? It's break time. There they Where are. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dudes? Raw rolls on after this. Nothing beats a cool, refreshing sip of water. One of the most graphically impressive titles ever to hit the Sony PlayStation, Crash Bandicoot is a challenging, must-have game. First, in a good way, your OCs on the design reminds the me of Spyro. Is, is it because of the orange and purple? 64. The levels aren't as vast or expansive. It is a bit Spyro-esque in nature in terms of like the color palette. The path yeah. Of gameplay. The game is nowhere near as fun as Mario, but it far surpasses Nintendo. I tried to play Plumber the Spyro and a reignited um, good stuff. Crash is ironically um, a collection quite a little bit ago. Question mark blocks appear everywhere. In I the did game. beat Spyro one Common and two, but I never. I'm not touched this three is too at all. Too much to be a coincidence. 
It's probably a nice little slap in the face to Nintendo, and if you've seen the Crash Bandicoot commercials, you'd probably agree. The slap is all in good fun, though. Sony has aggressively marketed its possible new mascot, but very tastefully. We've always wanted Nintendo to be just as dynamic, but their ads are like sticks in the mud. So here's the a hot take chat. Levels are later in the game. And I'm a little biased because be I did stream by it. some of the earlier levels. Crash like Force dog shit and the marathon run to get away from an Indiana Jones-ish boulder. We'll have more on this game in a later show. Crash 4 is a good platformer. Is I don't crash think it's a good crash good game. Buy. You don't need to know anything more than that. At least not yet. In terms of a crash game, I rodent action. I think it's probably one of the worst. If not because of the completion stuff. Right? Because the completion stuff is so much more strict for absolutely no reason than to pad out runtime. That's the only reason some of it is like really, really, really strict. Crash Bandicoot isn't enough monkey feeling. That's right, yeah. If it felt more like Donkey Kong, then I would like it more. Om nom nom. Oh, excuse me, we're back, my dudes. And welcome. Hey, welcome back to Raw. And also, you notice something about Crash? There are no giraffes in it. Not a single one. Not a single one across the whole series, chat. Any series worth its salt knows that you need to include one. And they just don't do it. And they just don't do it. That's a crime. It is! It is a crime. Now, chat, I need to go and take a break real quick. Hey, hey, congrats. Everyone watching was breathless, even if you weren't really breaking a sweat. Gotta run, but see you around, I hope. Oh, okay. Cool. The Giraffe Union ought to protest. I'm gonna go and get that picket line started here while I go stretch. Thank you, everyone, for fucking hanging around with us for so long. I really, really appreciate it. If you've not done so already, I'd appreciate a follow on the channel. Um, I want to get to 1,000 by year's end. If we do that, then we will do one special stream. Um, uh, uh, by year's end. Or at least I'll be doing something special for it, you know? Um, if we get to 1,000 by year's end, that is. Uh, and, and how about this? Come and join my Discord as well. We're doing weekly watch-alongs in there. Right now, we are watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Um, it's been a hell of a ride so far. Um, uh, we also watch... Um, uh, wrestling pay-per-views, and I'll just, like, hang out and, um, uh, chat sometimes, whether I'm working or whether I'm playing Fortnite or something. I, I would love to have you over there. I would love to have you over there, especially during the watch-alongs. Those are my highlights of the week, and I would love to have you over there for those. So, come on and join like-minded community of gaming, wrestling, and, of course, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat, which I post frequently. I post very, very frequently over there. I would love to see you over there, my friend. But yes, um, I'm going to go and do a stretch here in just a second. Also, the Long Boy Gang is our mortal fucking enemies. It's the Long Boy Club that you want, all right? The Long Boy Gang, they're our mortal enemies. They're like the Balas to us, all right? We're fucking Grove Street, they're the Balas. And we're aiming down the barrel. Just you wait. I'm waiting outside the Applebee's parking lot for for um, uh, Jebediah to come and meet me outside. How about that? To come and catch me outside. How about that? You don't need meat sticks. Long boy gang. Yeah, that's not it. That's not what you want. That's not what you want. You want the long boy club. The long boy gang is for meat sticks. It's for meat men. We're not meat men. We are long boys, girls, NBs, and AGs. LBC. LBC. Exactly. LBC indeed. Not LBG. LBG can go suck a fatty. Long boy club for life. Exactly. I'm clean long boy club too, though, you silly. No! It's not two. It's one or the other. You gotta include one or the other, and it better be the long boy club. Otherwise, you're not in it for life. You can't, you can't play both sides on this crucial issue. You can't play both sides on this crucial issue. Otherwise, what are you doing? You're not living. 
I feel worried they name it Meat Sticks. They can't even legally call it Jerky. Well, listen. Listen. If you don't know it's meat, then what can you do? LBC didn't embarrass themselves at Mania. It's a clear choice. Exactly. We don't deep throat meat sticks, unlike, unlike Jebediah please. over there. Longboy Club versus Longboy Gang in a War Games match in the Applebee's parking lot. Catch us outside. How about that? I am going to go take a break, everyone. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you in a few minutes. I will see you in a few minutes. Thanks again, everyone. Again, I would appreciate a follow. I'd appreciate you joining the Longboy Clubhouse Discord server where we do weekly watch alongs of whether it be My Little Pony French was Magic or or wrestling or some other third thing. Um, I would love to have you over there. Anyways, I'll be back in a few minutes. Why are 23 people watching right now? <laughs> Why are, why are we fluctuating between like the upper teens and the lower 20s? That's it. Jesus Christ. Welcome back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to uh, tonight's Longboy Club meeting. Uh, we are going to be continuing this, this right here. <laughs> uh, I got one more side quest in me for, for um, uh, this evening chat. I got one more side quest in me and then we're going to call it quits. We're, uh, last week, we ran for like five, six hours. We're not going to do that again this Hello, week. Hello, Mario. <laughs> I'm very hyped for um, uh, today and tomorrow. Guess what's up? What is up, King Maxwell? What is up tomorrow? Spare serotonin, please. Hey, thank you. Mm. Ooh, oh, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, thank you. Let's do a bit of a detour with... Slade. Slade, from the last game, my BF's coming over to celebrate my birthday today, and my birthday is tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh, hey, well, happy birthday to you. Hope you have a good one, my friend. So, I finally get to lay eyes on the man holding the WWE Universal title. Must be nice. It is. Thanks. Yeah. Huh. I guess there are benefits to being a champion who no one's afraid of. They might not be afraid of me before we get in the ring, but I guarantee they are afterwards. You're lucky you get a chance to show them. Me? Everyone watched me get stripped of my title. And then, just when I thought I'd get my shot against the lock, the newly crowned champion, it was like everyone just turned the page. Yeah, everyone started liking Henry, eh? Chat! Henry is canon! Henry's canon to the universe! When are we gonna get the Henry the Cat versus Shining Wizard dream match? You know, you know I'm booking that shit. The moment that I got. The moment. The moment I get the chance. The moment I get the chance, we're booking that shit. Hi, Henry. See, he's... See, him and Shining Wizard would have a barn burner. Guaranteed. What about Henry versus Pharaoh? Ooh, another good shout. You have no idea what it's like to feel like you're just a supporting character in somebody else's story. Left wondering what might have been. Wondering if anyone even remembers your name. You know, that's fair. That's fair. That's very fair, because who all here remembered Slade besides me? Yeah, that's tough. Sorry, what was your name again? Like, you don't know the name, Slade. I've been in WWE for 11 years, with a name the powers that be are terrified of. A name they refuse to let anywhere near a title match because they know what will happen. They know I'd win. Yeah, yeah, and they know that the gates would be terrible, brother. That's why they put it on Henry. Henry tried to have a match with Gira, but Gira still thinks it's a shoot. Not against me. No offense, but everyone I've gone up against has done a lot of talking about how I don't deserve a title, and yet, I'm still here. Too bad the higher-ups, and you, will never give me the chance to prove it. You want a title shot? shot? Fine. But you'll just have to find something else to complain about after I beat you. I mean, you're a former world champion. You're about to find out. 
just what WWE has been protecting you from. Okay. What? Shit. Shit rewards. These are some shit rewards, chat. Look at this. Just, just my faction cards I'm never, ever, ever going to use. <laughs> I'm never going to use these. Ever. But you know what? I think that we got more connection to Slade, right? We know everything about him. Dog water rewards. They are, though. I don't actually own these games. What is my faction even? A money pet. You collect cards and you build a faction with them, and I think they're like consume. No, no, they're they're not consumables, but they are like they're like you collect cards and you build a faction with them, and I think that you like go online and you fight other people with the faction. Are they non fungible? They should be fucking fungible because because otherwise they're basically next to worthless. You know, you, you know how Call of Duty for like a while, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. Except without the trading aspect, I think. It's like you just collect the cards. And you buy them with real world money with microtransactions. And your progress doesn't carry over year on year. Like, you know how, like, Call of Duty, when it was starting to, like, do, you know, the Battle Royale stuff? They tried to, like, do it, like, a yearly thing, like they, like they do with the normal COD stuff. It's like that. Like, they just fucking, like, revert your progress every year, so I'm just like... Who in their right mind would would dump money into this? You know? Who who's this for? Because it definitely is not for me, I'll tell you that. It is not my bag, I can tell you that for absolutely nothing. There's the man. And there's his title. The title that he'll absolutely squash Slay to retain tonight on SmackDown. Introducing the challenger from Columbus, Ohio. Oh my god, he's Ohio. No wonder he's on SmackDown. And his opponent from El Dorado. This has gotta look out for his Ohioans wherever he can. They don't get any respect otherwise. The workhorse champion doing SmackDown title matches. That's why we love him. Goofy Ohio. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Ohio, out of here, Slade, and take Low Gang with you. What is the music that we're going with here, chat? I'm thinking it's this. Yeah, exactly. And you won't hear from him again because I go right for the freaking cover. Why is everything he wearing so shiny, chat? Is this normal? Is everything meant to be this shiny? I don't remember this from like, from like last year. Well, listen, everyone is about to be, ow. <laughs> Everyone's about to be reminded why Slate is no longer in the conversation for the best of all time. And that's because the man replaced him is in the X Division. You're the shining wizard. He's stealing your give. <laughs> he is though. Also, those trapezes muscles—they always. 
What do you, what even is this music? It's Bowser's Inside Story. I don't know, it felt, it felt fitting. It felt fitting in the moment. Bowser, Bowser for the game. It's the best. Listen, listen. Listen. Bowser's Inside Story is, uh, it's about as good, uh, <laughs> it's about as good as you can get for, for a fucking video game about Vore, all right? When it comes to Vore games, Inside Story is unmatched. It is undisputed, you could say. No! I can't see! I don't know, FF14 has a lot of war over a very long runtime. I fucking lost the title because of you! Because of you, God! Chad, I lost the title because God did... Because God ran interference. He ran interference, chat. Hello, Mario. I'm sure of it. Henry dragged my bag of bones off. He's off having delicious Cheetos in a closet somewhere. Well, we'll go find him. Go find him. Well, I'm gonna go find the W. The biggest heel here is Mario. It is not. The biggest heel here is God himself. God sent Big Kev to ruin your title chance. He did. He did, though. You know what? Just for that, we're gonna do this. I mean, Slate is basically just a wild Pokemon at this point, right? Big Kim did yell for when he did it. <laughs> is that what he calls it? Is that what he calls it? I am not a Vore boy, chat. I'm not a Vore boy. Ow. I'm not a Vore boy, chat. Woo! Nice. Pin. You know what, chat? Well, you take control of the game for once. You get to feel my pain. Big, free and Big Kev ruining more matches than the real Big Kev. If we're the real Big Kev, like he would tear both of his claws before even starting. They should add the my GM jobbers into the game. We need Shining Wizard versus Silence. That would put butts in seats, eh, brother? The present, the presence of Shiny Wizard is just way too strong, chat. They can't call the pack freebies for the fan. They can call the pack freebies for the fans. Holy shit! <laughs> we got. It. <laughs> We got that back and forth out here at ringside. Ooh! 
there you go. I was watching that rumble live. It was wild. I'm never the hero people wanted, but the one they needed. F -f 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 Four. Life. Bucket Phenom, thanks for following. You're not a member of the Lawn Boy Club for life. Oh shit. How do I join the universe? What? We're outgrowing the LBG. The numbers grow by the second. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean, my friend. You download cause. If you're asking me to download your created character, the answer will probably be no, bud. Who needs the LBG? There are dozens of us in the LBC. Dozens. And y'all are gonna join me in the back of the fucking... <laughs> in the back of the fucking Applebee's, right? No, the unprettier! The unprettier! That's actually hard. What? That's actually difficult, chat. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I am done with this music. I'm done with this music. We need to turn off this music and we need to turn on this instead. Anyways, y'all are going to join me in the back of the Applebee's, right? Slade is actually a better contender than Drew McIntyre. Yeah, What? what is this? Look at this. He's like grounding him too. He's like grounding Shining Wizard. He's like actually like wrestling smart. He's like actually like complimenting him in style. This is the best match we've had so far. It's against two original characters. <laughs> It's this shiny wizard's biggest rival right here, and it's also Henry's biggest rival. Who would have thought? With a series of strikes, a kick, nasty kick. Who put on the Cynthia fight? Oh yeah, that's right, sex. I didn't do the thing I said I was gonna do. I'm sorry. I didn't show off your song like I said I was going to. Sorry, I've been busy. I didn't know a sh. I don't know if Shiny Wizard could beat Henry DeCat. You don't think he can? Chat. What is happening? What is happening? I didn't show off your song like I said I was going to. So chat, before we raid off, Rather, before we finish off and raid, I'm gonna show you all Sax's, um, uh, Sax's new song, all right? Because I told her that I would do it, and I want to support my friend on stream. Oh, let's go! Not even a one count. Slade is actually fucking taking it, dude! This is awesome! This is awesome! This is awesome! That's freaking goop. No! Wow. 
Clay's actually fucking taking it, dude. Not gonna lie. The toughest battle yet. Best boots all ever. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. No, it's a rope break. <laughs> it's a hooved PNG to we're playing Final Fantasy. Haha. <laughs> Who's that? No water in the pool for Wizard. No! No. Come on. Oh, the knee bar. The knee bar. The knee bar. Let's go! Let's go! That was a hard fought match, chat. That was actually hard fought. Wow. He just about took Shiny Wizard to his limit. Ow! Man, what an absolute barn burner. Those two are actual fight forever material, chat. A character we haven't heard from in God knows how long. Going up against wait, Gabriel Slade. Did we just face you? That was one hell of a title defense last week. No doubt why you're the champion. Um, thanks. Someday you'll have to give me the chance to get in the ring with you. I'd love to see how tough you are firsthand. Huh? What? Dude. I speak three languages. One thanks to Stev. That one is wrestling. Did I you too hard? We just got in the ring together. I'm the one who apparently gave you an out-of-body experience. Us? In the ring? I think I'd remember that. Bruh! What are you doing? Clearly, you don't, Slade. Oh, I see the confusion. I'm not Slade. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Totally different than Slade. I guess we do look a little bit alike. No beard here, though. Oh, boy. Call the hardest part of the ring, car, ca collar and elbow, tie up, punch him in the throat. Yeah, and it sounds like only one of you is taking their medication. Brother. Do chewable vitamins count? Brother. This has been fun, Slade. My friends call me Gabriel. Okay, Slade. I don't have time for this. Okay, but I'm serious about that match. Unless you're afraid I might beat you. Brother. <sighs> He has such he has such nerd emoji energy, dude. Those injections aren't chewable vitamins, Slade. He got some of the Hogan juice. Is this an Elias Ezekiel thing? I guess. I Let's see. You try to change your name. I'm not handing out second chances. And to think I was rooting for you against Slade. What? Wait. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Who are we facing then? Who are we facing then? Are we face? Are we just facing Gabriel Slade now? We're just facing like Gabriel Slade. Who are we facing? No, again? The monster of all monsters is here. Man, I gotta fight a stronger Slade. Yeah, you're right. Braun Strowman's the stronger Slade with his Photoshop Superman tattoo. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to go to bed before I start stretching at before I start screeching at the idiot refs again, LMFAO. Alright, Doomslay, if you gotta go to bed, that's all good, my friend. You have a good night. This is a bit of an upgrade from Slade, eh? Gotta face off against Braun Strowman again for the second time in the playthrough. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Pwn said so. You gotta go and get your EPs. Get these hands, chant. <laughs> Oh man, that feels like such a long time ago, right? That feels like such a long time ago. It feels almost like completely outdated. You gotta be a sick fuck to take on Ron fucking Strowman. Whoa! See how tough you are by taking by taking Braun's best shots. Oh. Oh, I actually need to like take some take some punishment from Strowman. What? What's this? It's Slade, but he seems to be distracting Strowman. That's actually Gabriel Slade. People are always getting them confused. Common mistake. Ooh, let's go! Wow! 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 Look at the athleticism chat. The athletic Charles Robinson. What are you doing, man? Someone beating the one count at this point, and back in the ring we go. We barely even did anything, dude. What do you mean at this point? Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Oh, we got the knee bar. Shit. Ow. Ow. Couple effective shots. You know what? Let's do ID purpose. Why not? <laughs> little. Little. <laughs> <laughs> little Nate's just pretending he doesn't care. It really is Little Nate, though. It's literally the gimmick he had in WCW. I've been watching Reliving the War. Come on, let's go! Are we about to squash Braun Strowman? How can how can Shiny Wizard not feel like a champion now? This is very loud. Hold on. There you go. I think it's I think it's so funny they just didn't pay any money to get rights to refs in 40 years mode. What do you mean? He's getting fired up now. Yeah, yeah, I've not really played... I've not played 40 years of WrestleMania mode because I've heard it's dog shit. But... And there is just like blurred out in videos and stuff. I didn't realize that there were rights too secure for referees. Oh, fuck. Running power slam! No. Doesn't know how his hands didn't secure a three count, Michael. Michael. Ron Strowman is your Big Mac. He is, though. Buck, it's Buck Strawman, chat. Buck Strawman is his name. <gasps> the shi the best shiny wizard ever. Nobody can believe it. Pin him, pin him. No one can believe it. No shot that actually did it. Wow.
Thank you, Charles Robinson. Let's go. Dude, dude, you ever notice something about Shining Wizard? Like 80% of the matches that he's had on SmackDown? What little I've seen of the mode seems torturous. It just kind of seems like after a year they stopped trying, right? Like they're starting to get lazy again. Not helped by Fight Forever sucking, right? Like I'm actually still upset about Fight Forever. <laughs> I'm very, very, very sad that that didn't turn out better. Because, like, it really should have just been a slam dunk, right? But just so much of it is lacking. So much of it is not where it needs to be. Throw off your flow out there. I was just throw off my groove. Couldn't help myself. What is your angle, Gabriel? <laughs> you called me Gabriel. Man, I don't have an angle. I'm just a fan and an all-around good guy, remember? Oh my god. I'm to help you hold on to your time. So you can take it off me? <clears throat> you made it clear that you didn't want to face me. And I respect that. Everyone should get to make their own choices about what they want to do with their title. Like it was so unfair that time Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton took the title away from Slade. Anyway. So you weren't trying to send a message with that run-in? Just the message that I want to see you succeed. And I plan on doing whatever I can to make that happen. Sign me up as the newest member of the Horse Force. No, it's the Long Boy Club. Fuck you. Right there, supporting you. It's the Long Boy Club. Get it right, or else you're not getting it. Sounds like either I need to get a restraining order or give you a title match. Listen, anyone who says they're a good guy openly like that is usually a fuck boy. Well, he's about to get fucked by a boy in the ring because we're going to get the best boy, Shining Wizard, in there to defend his title. Really? Wow. That came out of nowhere. Sure it did. But listen, don't be upset when you find out you're not the only one who can play games. Now I really can't wait for this match. Neither can I. Then I can finally get rid of you once and for all. Why does, why does this feel like Shiny Wizard is like talking to like voices in his head? Right? Like this right here just like Feels like he's like talking to the demons Hello, Mario. in his head. <laughs> Did you watch SmackDown? I've I half paid attention to SmackDown at work. <laughs> I half paid attention to SmackDown at work. The voices are telling him to lock in. Like the lock, like Henry the Cat. The voices can't get you, 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 the voices can't get you. It actually made it sound like the homunculus was going insane, though. <laughs> can someone, like, redeem... Can someone, um, uh, redeem the throw stuff? We need to make sure that we get a Cheetos bag down to the homunculus stat. Yeah, there you go. See, we got one down there. We got one down there already. Match of the year, LOL. Implying I'm not insane already, father. Well, listen, you can be a little less insane. Don't you, don't you want to be like, you know, more comfortable with yourself? Or do you just want to like have an excuse to eat more Cheetos? into history, defying all odds. It's the dark horse. Because, you know, sometimes it just seems like you want an excuse to eat more Cheetos. I am comfortable being insane, father. Yeah, that's someone... Cheetos and 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 Cheetos and... Why do you make me work for the Cheetos? Just jib them. I don't know how you jib something. From Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, Gabriel Slade. And his opponent, from Aldo. 
Father, I crave cheddar. Cheddar Cheetos? What the fuck? Huh? 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 What is that? What's that? What's that in the ring? Huh? Chad, what's that? What's that, Chad? What's that? Quickly, redeem booze all the time. This is what happens time. when I do not get my cheese-flavored treats. I ruin your guy. I get it. Okay, you know what? Message received. Message received. I get it. I get it. Redeem booze the whole match, chat. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. Please be too fast. My eyes are hurting. <laughs> This is sick. This is like watching a Dominic Mysterio promo. It really, really is. It really, really is. This is actually uncanny. This is unsettling. <laughs> The referee is pro slave. Damn it. I just love how like loud the booze can get. <laughs> what is that, chat? This is actually the worst possible thing that you could do. This this literally just feels like Shining Wizard is like naked, right? It's almost over, chat. I'm gonna get him in there, I'm gonna tap him out. And then the nightmare can be over with. Oh no, it's gonna be a rope break. Fuck. Let's go! Holy fuck! That was horrifying. This is the one time Shining Wizard should take out the ref and beat Slade with a chair. <laughs> this is a sicko mode, Shining Wizard. Oh, we gotta get him off the screen. <laughs> Chiggins! With the long boys, girls, NBs, and AGs. Hello, thank you for bringing your lovely community on over here. For those of you we're unaware, my name is Giraffe Steph. I'm the president of the Long Boy Club, a very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight, we are uh, probably wrapping up stream here in just a second. <laughs> hey, sorry to DM out of the blue, but this is Gabe Slade. What the, what the fuck? Chickens again with the Long Boys, the girls, NBs, and AEGs. Uh, again, 
I am Giraffe Sev. I'm the person with the long boy called the very large enjoyer of all these gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight, we literally just got done playing um, uh, WWE 2K24. We just had to deal with a horrifying scenario, but Hello, that Mario. scenario is over. That scenario is over. We can finally move on from it and just take solace in Henry. Hopefully someday we can meet up in the ring. I think I can give you a run for your money. What the fuck? But this is Gabe Slade. I'm a big fan. Hopefully someday we can meet up in the ring. I think I can give you a run for your money. Ow. Why is he, like, regressing? Once again, I have defeated you, Batman! <laughs> How did that even happen? Like, real talk, 2K, what the hell? How was Gabe? Diff, diff dude entirely, right? Entire, yes. Entirely. Holy shit. That was scary. That was horrifying, chat. And now we will never speak of it again. Troy Simpkin. Troy the Simp. I can go for a little while longer, chat. Do we want to, like, do the next story chapter? Do we want to do the next story chapter or wait until tomorrow? I'm... <sighs> because if we... If we do the next story chapter, then that is 100% where... Where we are. Can't wait. I gotta go. Want to see tomorrow. Three-on-one handicap match. When <laughs> Slade, Gabriel Slade, and Gabe Slade versus Shining Wizard. I'll fucking put that in universe mode and we'll see what happens. <laughs> There's a lot of things I want to do. Honestly. I want to see it tomorrow. Okay, well then, we'll wait until tomorrow. I'm feeling tired anyways. I'm, I'm not running on a lot of sleep. So, maybe it's best to get a good night's sleep tonight and then we'll get back at this tomorrow. Uh... Chat, I want to say, once again, what the heck? I want to say, once again, thank you to everyone for showing up tonight. Thank you to everyone who rated in, and especially to uh, Chiggins, who was uh, kind enough to fucking, to fucking do it right at the end. I appreciate it anyways. If you need to rate in one, entirely okay. I appreciate it anyways. I hope you're doing well. The song is a sleepy jazz song. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, hold on. We need to listen to Sax's song. So I'm actually gonna ask us to not do redeems right now while we listen to the song. Cause I actually wanna listen to it here. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I guess you can do Hell Monster, but like the chants and stuff. Let's maybe push that to the left for a second. Cause I wanna, I wanna give my friend here a, a little bit of a spotlight. Give me just a second here. <laughs> I've not changed it the whole time. <laughs> What's this? I love the airiness. Is that how you... Is that like the proper way to kind of uh, describe it? The airiness? Oh, and there's that sax. Hmm. Glacially slow. Welcome to Midnight Graps with your Effa stuff. On the floor, a blinking light then beckons to the cold. Press the button, heard your voice. My heart leapt, it had no choice. So familiar yet so aloof. Well, 
Welcome to the Shining Sensation with Giraffe Stev. Tonight's music is Sleepless Pony with Sax Pony on the saxophone. Giving us those silky smooth melodies. some more. Look at our girl there. I recommend turning it up, Stev. I like that. It honestly makes a good soundtrack for us as we uh, wind things down for the evening here. I like that. Honestly, a nice little change of pace for us as we begin to raid here. We raid him, by the way, chat. Uh, I'm thinking that we. Great Pure Blue Heart here. They're playing Call to the Lamb, which, coincidentally, we played not too long ago. I'm glad you enjoyed that, sweetie. Well, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad that you guys collabed on it. That was very, 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 very nice. I may not know the other two people, but, you know, I wanted, I wanted to highlight your stuff on stream. Here. Because you're my friend. And... Well, you know, I feel like you've become a bit of a recurring character here in the Long Boy Club. So we got to keep that up. We got to keep that up. We got to prop up the members of the club where we can. But for now, we got to raid. We're going to raid to Pure Blue Heart here, who's playing Cult of the Lamb. Well, they're playing it with a couple people we know. They're playing it with Funny Joe, and they're playing it with Heartfang. We'll raid into them. As always, it's Long Boy Club Love. L LGC for life. There's no LG. There's no. You know what? I'm calm from the jazz, so I'll just politely correct you. It's LBC, not LGC. We're not Long Gang Club or Long Guy Club. It's Long Boy Club. Then, now, forever, and crucially, together. <laughs> I think I think it's time for us all to go to bed with that. There's the raid message right there. Uh, Long Boy Club love, as always. Thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out tonight. If you've not done so already, consider following channel i want to get to 1000 followers if we do that i'll have a special stream planned or even just a special project planned for that follow the discord or rather i'm um, uh, join the discord i should say um uh, we do um uh, weekly watch alongs i hang out in i hang out in a uh, call sometimes i'm trying to do that more often um and you can find my socials up there too in my card um i'll see you all tomorrow for more of shiny wizard story See you all tomorrow, everyone. Bye.